But Wait, like, so, if you had a brand, like, what you would want this you, gentleman? Yeah, like, you want to attach your brand to him? For what? I would give him something like Peloton or something. Peloton for what? Yeah, like, oh, you know, if you were had more muscles, you wouldn't get your bitch snatched or something like that. But more white people. <laughs> what? <friendly. laughs> what? <laughs> no worry, and mouth. Maga Mall in the flesh. Got the American flag behind us. Viking hat on the uh, the basketball. Yeah. Stop Asian hate. It's a great time to be American. So for those that don't know, we just put out a promo for our DC show, March 23rd. Tickets available now, Um, I think people thought this was like a sketch that we were putting together. No, this is actually real footage. We just happened to catch Maul in the studio, <laughs> riling himself up over a speech. None of this was planned or scripted. This was really just BTS. March 23rd is the new January 6th. We are at the Howard Theater in DC. <laughs> New Rory and Mall, New Rory and Mall dot com. Tickets available now. DC wants to know: Are you going to show up on stage with the MAGA hat, flag, and Viking hat? I I don't know. I think I'm gonna just wear the hat, man. I think I'm gonna start wearing the hat more uh, every day throughout. You know, just uh, up until election time, man. Can you get that off in the, in this this liberal bastard of New York City that we that we live in? Yeah, man. Are you kidding me? Is somebody going to tell me to take it off? Yeah. Oh, get the fuck out of here. You know how the hipsters get. I don't care about that you shit. You know how Antifa does? Listen, man, we- They'll we, pepper spray you. We now know that, you know what I'm saying, Donald Trump wasn't as bad as they made oh, him out to see, be. See, I just wanted- He wasn't I just as bad as they made him out to I just wanted to, to plug be. DC. Plug it. March 23rd. The new January 6th. We will be there. At the Howard Theater. Do you think like you'll be met with applause if you walk out with that hat on? Oh, for sure. Mm. You think our crowd is the MAGA crowd? I don't know if they're the MAGA crowd, but you know. I mean, I guess they, they'll respect, you know. Someone standing on their business. If they standing on business, all twenty twenty four. Tolerate it. Yeah. Why I not? Suppose. It's a great hat. It's not upside down though. So I don't think it's very on. I know, man. I know. Remember That's when Ye went thing. into the White House and was like, yeah. "Yo, your hat is trash." Like, yeah, so yeah. Made like the cool Karma Loop version. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta get, a, I gotta get an upside down maga. <laughs> it's like a five hat. panel. Yeah, I gotta get upside down maga. Who would get that done for you? Uh, probably Killer Hype. I gotta hit my, my, my people's over at Killer Hype and get them to do it for me. Probably Killer Hype. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Do you think they would go that far? Would they make a Biden one for me? Nah. Does they, Biden they, have a hat? No. No, it'd just be an, an ice cream cone. They got some, they could make some, some adult diapers for you. You can. Depends. Yeah. I could use those. Get you some depends, you know, some adult diapers on you. You can stumble over your words about genocide while licking a vanilla bean ice cream cone. Yeah. When we were planning, uh, this promo video. Fucking idiot. We thought we had to go to like Amazon and like get all the items. It ended up being that Maul had everything in his crib. Yeah. Not everything. Nothing was shipped here. Oh, I was besides waiting. the face paint. I was waiting for this day. <laughs> I was waiting for this day to use all my, my MAGA merch. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah, I you got didn't tell all. us about the socks. That was a weird uh, touch that you just happened to have. Oh, you got to get everything. I'm telling you, I'm mad I don't have the sneakers yet. It wasn't in pre-pro that you had the socks though. Yeah, no. I got the I got the MAGA socks. I had to pull out the MAGA socks. Were those like a, a free giveaway at a rally or did you order those on the no, internet? You got to order those. Yeah, you got to order the merch. QAnon.com? I don't remember the site, but it definitely wasn't QAnon. I will, the, I will give Donnie T. He, he has the merch game on lock. Yeah. Anytime I watch footage of the rallies, I see like the merch table. Mm -hmm. Even though I hate his face, <laughs> pretty good merch. <laughs> People in the comments cursing me out. I love it. I'm, I, that's why I just don't think that's really Somebody said, aren't you from the shithole country he uh, he was speaking about? I said, yeah, New York City's a real shithole these days. Well, I may, may agree with him there. <laughs> Today, I was, I was on the train this morning, right? <laughs> Smelt like pure shit out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. So natu naturally, I did like, you know, I, I check looked, on looked, looked at the, the car just to see, check my surroundings. Not a single homeless person in sight. Mm -hmm. All people that looked like they were on their way to an office job. Yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody in Dockers shit their pants. Yeah, somebody just didn't wash their ass. That's all. They was running late. No, it smelled like human feces just exited that area. Yeah, some people don't wash their ass in the mornings. You know that. I just think someone thought it was a fart and thought they could make it to the office, and it just ran down his leg. That's what I got to get them by. And depends. How often do you guys wash your sheets? Pretty often. Once a week. Every weekend. Yeah, every it's, Sunday. It's in the. Or I'll switch them to other sheets and then wash those like when I get to laundry. What about your towels? Because uh, you're not you're supposed to get rid of towels after a certain point, like bath towels. How, but you said how, how often do you wash them? Uh, I guess change them. Every two days, I want to say, from a bath towel. Towels? Like get rid of them and get new ones. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, probably like after like, but well, I got so many towels. There's no way I'm going through like towels. Like I got at least forty towels. Mm. My, my bad, dog. I, just, I didn't know who I was dealing with. Yeah, yeah like I got. I didn't know you just had towels like that. I have an unnecessary amount of towels. Like I by the time I wash towels, like I fold them and put them back on top of the towels that was still there. I'm like, I never even used those towels. Like, yeah. You know what I started doing is kind of nice because my my gym has all the 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 hand towels and the the body the bigger towels. I'll just you know use them. I barely shower at home, so I usually shower at the gym. But -hmm. when I do shower at home, I'll just use the gym. I'll take a gym towel home, use it, and then bring it back to the gym, throw it in their hamper, and then just grab a new one and put it in my bag. Why do you take it home? Because and it just saves me time from doing towel laundry. Because I just swap it. I'll bring the dirty one in my duffel put it in there. I don't throw it out. I just give it back to them. And then I just take a clean one home. Yeah. But you take it home. You take the towel from the gym home. Yes. A clean one. And do you use it when you're home? You bring what you yeah. Cause home? like if I don't go to the gym one so day, you put it in your gym bag, you put a wet towel in your gym bag. It's not wet. New, brand new towel. Oh, you take a new towel from the gym. Yeah. Oh, so you're just stealing their towel. I'm not stealing. I'm giving them back. Okay. Letting them clean it. And then I'll get a new one. I never take the towel. It okay. always, it's just a cycle that feeds itself. You always return. Yeah. Yes. I always return. It's like a, lab, it's like, a, like, a like a book from the library. Yes. You always bring it back. What about toothbrushes? How often do you swap those? I don't, I want to skip past you you being like a gym showerer. Why? Why is that weird? I, I just, I don't like showering in slides, like when I have a shower at home. Julian don't wear slides. He's barefoot no, in the shower. No, no, I slide. I have croc slides. I just, like, but why shower in the gym? I just never really understood go home. that. Nice. I could see if like you had to get right to like work or something, but like just go, go home. Go home and wash your ass? Yeah. Yeah. And Definitely. it's just like old guys ass naked. Like there is a curtain, but for some reason they don't want to close the curtain. No, like, that's not it's like a puff party. I don't know. My gym isn't, I've <laughs> so never we'll had there like later. the awkward. It's, it's also not a curtain, it's a glass door. So like you have to close it. You mm-hmm. can't just leave the door open. Oh, you see, even your gym, you don't even fuck with shower it's, curtains. I want to, I'm sorry to interrupt, guys. I want to bring it back. You said that you shower at the gym, right? You don't really shower at home. Yeah. Like so most you, days. So you, you wake up. You go to the gym, mm-hmm. you shower at the gym, mm-hmm. skin home, you go to work in these dirty ass New York streets, you go home and you just get in bed? Nah, so I mean, it depends. If I, well, uh, nah. You go home and you get in bed. You should wash your sheets more. I do. Well, I wash my <laughs> sheets often. <laughs> do you take those from the gym too? Sense. I'm all sweaty. I'm gross at the gym. Why wouldn't I just get fresh, clean up there? So by the time I'm no. home and I'm doing I, my rest of my morning routine. Do you have a, a skincare routine? Like I do. So you do that at the gym next to the naked old white why guy. Do you, why are you feeding a naked old man next to me everywhere I go? at any gym locker room, there's a naked old white guy. No, you know, isn't They actually house. never leave. They just live yeah, in there naked. They know. They, they don't love, even work out. They're just old, there old, naked. Old white men love getting naked in the, in the gym locker rooms. And then like try to shame people that don't want to. Yeah. Like, and they have a conversation with you. Like, oh, so today was shoulders, huh? Like you have your drawers. That's sick. <laughs> your drawers are in your hand. Like you can put <laughs> them on. <laughs> Yeah, the people that don't know how to do the towels, it's you just kind of ignore it. I don't know. They be switching sides on you, like, oh, just a flash of the dick. It's like a match. Yeah, that's their match trick. Switch the knot. That's their match trick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I heard, I heard you. I heard you're a magician, son. <laughs> and then, like, I'll do the steam or the sauna after the gym sometimes. It's funny you mentioned that. Even like the guys that wear the towels, the moment that door closes in the sauna or the See, they just whip that towel right off. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, as, yeah. it's like an entry point of like, hey, look at my dick. And yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to just. I never understood that. Sweat out some the, toxins. The wood you're sitting on, like in the sauna, it yep. gets hot. And then you're you're just going to have your balls sitting on that hot yeah. wood. That shit is hot. P- like, put the towel down. Lay a towel down. Nah, you got to let it. Buns are cooking. Let it all hang out. You know, they're closing down saunas and steam rooms all throughout New York because of uh, the gay fuck culture. What? What? It's like a thing. It's sad because I actually liked the steam the and the sauna room. Yeah, no, the, the the gays have been going crazy in the gym. It's a fuck fest in there. There's all these like towels I, and like baseball. Is this signals. like a Fox News? No, I'm dead thing. serious. Well, when I signed up for my, this, my this gym, this feels fake. It's not. When I signed up for my gym, so you're telling me there's so much gay sex happening, <laughs> like I don't in know. saunas and steam rooms around the gyms at NYC that they have to shut them down. I just yes. feel like that headline wouldn't get past me. Uh, yeah, I don't know how true that is. <laughs> I don't think there's that much gay sex. Like, this, you can just go home, sir. You don't have to fuck in the fucking no, sauna. This feels thing. like Hannity was like leaving work and someone just ran up to him like, you know, the gays are fucking in the sauna. Yeah. And Hannity went right back to work. Yeah, I don't know how well, They're shutting them down for a health code. Viol- the gym I go to just shut down the sauna for health code violations. And when I joined the gym, it was like open for like three months before it got shut down. There's nothing wrong with the sauna. Before the gays came in. Well, maybe because it's steam and they figured COVID. I don't know. 
No. I don't think it's no. gay sex. We're, t- we're not like we're not being like this isn't homophobic. homophobic also, like, it's not. This is- this is a no, the gays attack. All right, well, show me, show they me an even, article. They didn't even shut down the Senate floor after the gay sex. Yeah, like I don't believe had, that yeah, the sauna. I don't believe the saunas are being shut down because of gay sex. I don't believe that. Show me, you have to show me an article. You can't just sit here and just say shit. You can't freestyle like that. It's, show me oh, where it says. You sit here and say shit all the time that we can't find no news articles to back the fuck up. Like what? And like no matter exactly. what you're. See, you can't, you now you just saying shit. Again, you know. just saying shit. Listen. Tell me, what, tell me what I said that don't, I can't back up. Tell me. Let's talk about it. Okay. And exactly. also, like, no matter your preference, I feel like horny is kind of universal. Like, dudes are just at the gym, like, ready to go. No, horny is universal, but there is a, a Who's gym. Who's at the gym horny? There's a, are you kidding me? There's a gym culture for, like, hookup sex. Yes. How is this yes. not? You've never heard of this? No. I mean, I, never, I, have, thing, like, straight I haven't heard of fucking a gym saunas too. being shut down because gay men are just well, going okay, crazy. Well, I'll, I've seen, yeah, like, I attractive I, women at the gym that are doing squats. I thought it was attractive. I didn't get horny. Like, I didn't want to be like, I didn't want to go beat off in the sauna. Well, no, but like the thing, all right. So (laughs) when I joined the gym, the guy, I told the guy, I said, when I lived in Chicago, I had this really nice spot that I would go to that had a steam room and I've always wanted to have a gym with a steam room. This one that I currently go to never had a steam room, just had a sauna. And I asked him candidly, I was like, hey man, why are there no, why can't I find a fucking gym with a steam room? And then he looked at me and smirked and like giggled. And I was like, what? And he's a, he's a gay, he's a gay black man. And he looked at me and was like, yo, you really don't know why? I was like, no. And he just goes off about the hookup culture and fuck culture in these rooms. And he, he said, this city caught on and they're shutting them all down because of on. the health code violations. I think he was just checking your temperature just to see. Yeah, yeah. sure. I think and he was inviting you over. And then they shut down the fucking sauna in my damn gym, which is a big reason why I joined. So now I can't go anywhere in steam. I'm just gonna show my. It's I'm, really annoying. <laughs> I can't go anywhere in Steam. <laughs> Who the fuck says that? I can't go anywhere in Steam. Well, well, if you join the somewhere, fuck are you talking if about? You join somewhere for the amenities that they promise you, and then two months into it, it's gone. I, yeah, I'm fucking mad. Yo, just fucking close your bathroom door and turn the hot water on. That's just sucks. You you? It's not the same. I'm gonna show my immaturity, but like the steam and sauna is in the building that we live in. Mm-hmm. I'd never had to like see the naked guys like as civilians yeah. outside of the locker room yeah so like i'll see them ass naked just strutting about like going to brush their teeth mm-hmm. back to the locker like mad time to put drawers on mm-hmm. then i'll see them in their civilian clothes like in the hallway like when i'm pushing my kid I'm like oh look at this little cutie i'm like i met you naked get away from me <laughs> balls flopping <laughs> on his knees <laughs> Which is a very gay thought to think immediately. Like, I, I know you naked. Well, Julian, I'm sorry that you can't steam at your gym anymore. This sucks, bro. I know, I know your days right. are not going to be the same, but hopefully you're able to push. I'm sure a lot of people out there can resonate. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people can feel you. I'm that. also calling BS because we live in a theater building. If there was going to be any gay sex in a sauna or a steam room, it'd be it's where not, I'd go. It's not. It's more. It's not. Is it particular steam rooms that they meet up at? Equinox is like really known. For Equinox really? is big. They're, 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 they're the mainstream with it. I thought it'd be few, like some underground sex They're one sex of the few uh, like flagships that still have steam rooms. So people are just migrating there. Well, Equinox is one of the top gyms. You it is, probably, yeah. Equinox, Lifetime. I go to one like a tier below, which used to have steam rooms and they've got rid of all of them. Okay, Julian, hmm. you'll, you'll survive. I'm not happy about it. It's okay. We'll get you some steam. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Do you think like everyone just stayed in the steam room? What do you mean? Like when the gay sex starts. Oh no! I think I don't like think you they're pretend. That, I don't think they're that brazen with it. I think you you do a clearly they are. They got to shut them down. Well, I, I think you do a temp check of the whole room. This is again what I was told from the gentleman that helped me join the club because yeah, I was very curious. The steam club or? Well, if there was, I joined the steam club if there was existed. Ew. Okay. All right. <laughs> but they they you do say there's the, we're all in the same steam room and we will never be all in the same steam. Room. Well, for my fantasy, we're all in the same steam room. And uh, was this the Blues Brothers? <laughs> you do a temp check. You look. So say if I'm interested in Mall, but Rory's also there. I need to at least get the visual cue that Rory's okay with me pursuing Mall. If Rory's not comfortable, then I'll either we'll wait it out until he leaves, or just find another time where there's someone else, or no. But best case scenario, nobody in the room where you can just get your shit off. What do you think? Some of my. Uh signs would be that I'm not into it or that I'm into it. I think there's, well, I don't think, I know, I don't know what they are, but the guy told me there's a lot of uh, social cues. Who's this guy? 
Can we manager. get him on the pod? Yeah. I have a question. <laughs> Who is this guy? Smart Who is guy. this guy? Who is this guy? Who's this guy? saying this guy. Who is this guy? No, he's just a dude that works at a gym. So he was giving me, he was telling me like the social cues. Like it's like the towel lifts or like certain hand signals. It's like baseball coaches. And they know, like, if you if you're down, you'll like you know flip the towel one way, or it's kind of fucked because if you go in there on some stray shit, and you and don't like know what's say, going on, you have no idea. Yeah. Say like your towel's looped to your left hip, but maybe that's the gay hip. Your shit should be on your right <laughs> hip. Like sometimes you don't know. It's you're like a crip there. flag. Yeah, it's just like oh shit, know. he's setting to the left. And also going in the steam flag. room with just like butt naked, which is a towel on, is crazy. Like where's your 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 shorts at? Like what? No, that's how you do it. No, that's not how I would Yes, do it. it is. Rory, I, yeah, I would I, have in my- In a steam room, I, I keep a towel on, but I don't have anything under my- Yeah, head. I have two towels. One to like dab sweat and one that just stays on like the, they're here. What's the, point of what's the point of being butt naked in the steam room? You're not butt naked. You have a towel on. Okay, but you're butt naked under the towel. Well, because right after you go right into the shower. Yeah, but you could also just have your trunks on or your shorts and something. Oh, and just but that's wearing not, trunks and putting a towel over it is like serial sick. killer behavior. To yeah, me. but you don't just have, don't to, have so a towel. You under with socks. No, you could. No, you <laughs> could just go. You could just wear trunks and nothing else. Like you don't have mean, to have that, a towel on. That makes sense to me because when I go in the steam room, I y'all y'all on some y'all some muffins. You going in there with no clothes on and you surprised that they trying to muffin. take your buns. You a muffin. You going in the steam room I, butt gonna, naked with a towel on. Rory does. I'm some, saying yeah, I'm the conservative one muffins. with a towel on. Everyone yeah. else is ass naked. He's a carrot cake I'm muffin. And you I have a towel on. Yeah, but you're naked under your towel. All right, but you're How naked under your drawers. What's the difference? No, what? This, what, what is that? <laughs> of course you're, you're naked, naked under your- underneath the sweatsuit right now. Yeah, but that's different than you being walking in a room with a towel on and you butt naked. It's like, yo, why are you in the sun? Put some fucking swimming trunks on and then sit in the fucking steam room. I'll, I have to bring uh, swimming trunks to the gym with me? Crazy. Yeah. I'm not bringing trunks to the gym. Why not? Unless I'm going swimming. Or, or going to sit in the steam room. But I've done. I've done compression. With the trunks on? No, you. Of course, you take your trunks off when you shower. I'm talking about when you're sitting in a room with other people. You just having a towel on, butt naked under the towel is crazy. Yeah, I think it's. You want to be part of the steam boys, naked right? combing their hair at the sink where I. No, you never. People brush their teeth right where someone placed their ball sack when they comb their hair. Fact. I just think it's weird for y'all to be sitting in a box, a hot box. Sounds well, like jail with other people no, no. With, with, with with just a towel on. I think y'all want to be part of the Steam Boys in Manhattan. I think that's well, I don't know their their gang signs yet. I wish they were more direct. Yeah, y'all crazy. Damaris, who was that? That was the gangs. <laughs> no, not Damaris. What was the gang? Apparently, don't, it's don't more of a secret that. society. No, They're not no, just no, like no. you. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. That's that's <laughs> Damaris. That was very that was very unnecessary. What you just did. That was so unnecessary. I'm done. The camera didn't catch it. Well, well like what? All right, if you are gay, like what an amazing surprise to your day. Like you just had a great workout, and then you walk in the Steam get some head. and there's like three guys ready to fuck. That would be lit. That's lit. That is no, it's lit. not. If you're gay? If you're into if it, you're that's gay, great. You just had a great pump. You fucking get your dick sucked and get in the shower and go home. That's great. All before noon. That sounds like a man of experience right there. That's a, That sounds on paper. That sounds like a great day. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. They, experience. They're doing hand signs like Joe Torrey. Like, <laughs> <laughs> of course. They're still third. Your home. Yeah, still third. <laughs> still, <laughs> still third. <laughs> Uh, I in Toronto, I hit the steam room when we were at that really nice hotel. Okay, good to know. Uh, wait, glad I didn't. I, I think he sent the signal out because in guys. the group chat, he was like, Yo, if anyone wants to sweat out the hangover, because I was extremely hungover and I hit the group chat. I said, Yo, do you guys have no idea? Oh, was that one of the Take signs away. you learned? Take away all like gay steam room culture, hitting your male group chat saying, Yo, if anybody wants to sweat it's not out the gay. hangover, it's gay with if you me. make it gay, that's crazy. We were all That's hurt in, a, in a foreign country too. We were all hurt. Man, it's 20 minutes up north. You could have invited them niggas for like yeah, It's got a lot of French like influence. <laughs> the foreign country. We're in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it is it is foreign. We got a hour flight. We got to cross. It's not even that. We got to cross yeah. a border though. Two hours, yeah. a 30 minute flight. Yeah. yeah. I but don't it, know. I texted the group. I think someone, I think Peach might have gone later in the day, but it was nice. You know who didn't go? Definitely not you. Exactly. Fucking steam. I got it over there as well. Don't ever invite me to steam, a steam sesh. <laughs> a steam, you want a steam one? I'm having a steam sesh. Let's do pre pro. Yeah, like steam the sesh. Fuck out of here. What the fuck we are you talking talk about? We run a show. In the, in the yeah. All right. Well, anyway, Julian, you said you had a, uh, a really good voicemail that uh, you wanted to uh, get to. You were, so, you were so happy about getting right to this, to this voicemail. Yeah, we're going to mix it up a little bit with this episode and do, do some voicemails in the beginning. You've got mail. Well, it's, it's kind of on theme with the topic of the day, except this guy got pussy instead of bussy. Nice. Here you go. Look, I don't know if y'all going to play this or not, but I hope y'all I hope y'all niggas know y'all got me some pussy. Hey. You want to know how? My name is Rev. 
Oh, okay. From New York. You feel me? I was on a call with a joint that know, you feel me? I listen to y'all podcast. So one day, <laughs> we I was on a call and he was like, I think Rory was like, yo, Rev. Hey, feel me? She was like, oh, you really be with them niggas. I pump faked. Shout out to Rel on there, because you got this Rel some, uh, some yada me. You feel me? Hello. <laughs> I thought that'd be a good one to start with. Oh, that's not fair. So, Rel, you, you, you <laughs> obviously... <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> Rel, you obviously got this... You obviously got this gentleman, Rel, some sex, because Rory thought... Well, he acted like Rory was talking to him. That's stolen valor. Yeah. Is that the type of pussy you want? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like she wasn't gonna give you some pussy, but then you played a podcast and somebody said, "Yo, Rel," she was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, the engineer. <laughs> She's like, "Oh fuck!" Go ahead and take. You this really pussy. be with them? You be really? You really be with them niggas? Oh man, it's, yo, it's so sad. Yeah, out there pussy the off that is hilarious. It's so sad on the streets, God. man. It's crazy on the streets right it's now. Nasty. Oh my you god, you thought the sauna was nasty? Jesus Christ, That's worse. Wow. If a girl said that to me, like roles reversed, I I would get out of that car <laughs> immediately. Like now you want to give me some pussy because a yeah, podcaster like, happened to say my name? Nah, yeah. poor my if the, she was listening to poor minds and they said shout out to Rory, and she'd be like, Wow, you know them? And she gave you some pussy, you wouldn't take it. You can't yeah, but it's not only that, but if they said I mean, that they're friends referring to Rory. Yeah. They just said that's, the name. That's the difference. <laughs> that they would actually be referring to Rory. That's the difference. We don't know who this nigga and is. Their that friends just know me. Yeah, like we don't know this dude at all. He wasn't talking to him. That's crazy to get sex off of that. But listen, man, somebody commented uh, the other day and said, uh, because I had said, yo, listen, just find a new girl. Or just find some new box. Like, mm. mm -hmm. and they was like, yo, it ain't that easy out here in the streets right now. It's a drought. It's nasty out here. It's nasty. It's a drought on it's not a drought. It's on vagina? A... How? A nigga ain't never said, yo, a nigga ain't never went outside and said, yo, it ain't no pussy out here. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> when have you ever walked outside and there was no pussy outside? It's like when Giuliani raised the coke. The <laughs> yeah. price of a bro. Like, I'm like, yo, what are you talking about? It's a drought. Like, what does that mean? It's a drought. No, it ain't a drought. It's that a lot of you niggas ain't got your shit together and chicks is tired of fucking on you bums. That's what it is. If chicks are giving the pussy up because they said rel on a podcast, I there's no doubt drought. there's a drought. There's no drought. <laughs> there's pussy everywhere. The NASDAQ is going up. Yeah, I don't know where you hang out, homie, but rel clearly got some pussy <laughs> off of some a fluke. Somebody just said rel and Shorty gave up the, the box. That's crazy. It can't be a, it can't be a drought out there. You, you know how really people do like them niggas is crazy. You know how like singers do the cameo thing where they're like sing happy birthday and then just insert like the name there. Mm -hmm. Bay, we should just start ringing off names on this podcast you and you can just plug and success. play cameo. <laughs> Get somebody some sex. Yeah. Well, listen, bro. We're happy that we could do that for you. Un unknowingly, we didn't we didn't know that we were helping you get sex. But how do you how do you think Rel gave it up when she said like, "Oh, you really be you know how much pussy he gonna get now?" Then now we saying his name and we're directing it to him. Now we're actually oh, no, no. God. Now we just told on him. Yeah, he about no he no now he about to he about to have two babies this this summer. <laughs> he been getting actually, pussy all all year off of this. That's my guy. He be in the studio all the time. Rel, <laughs> he be in the studio. <laughs> He on the couch now. He's just being quiet. You know, Rel is shy. He's playing coy. <laughs> <laughs> Team with a new bitch right, up, right on the couch. <laughs> now watch he clip this and put it on his Instagram. Oh, for sure. He got to, as he should. Y'all get you, you know Rel tried to play coy, though, when she was like, you be with him. Like, you know, I don't really like to talk about it. Yeah, like, I don't really like, yeah. I don't really put no, I, my I, business out there like that. He probably that. did the, yo, I play the background. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. the one that tried to be on camera. Yeah, yeah. They asked, yeah. I'm more of a strategy yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a strategy guy. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't know y'all was like them niggas though to like we're not give pussy up for <laughs> we're not that was just an unfortunate situation for that young man you guys usually break people up so it's nice to see you know this breaks the curse at least and yeah, now we bring people we got, together to hump got some people engaged and man if they if if you propose to me because Rory told you to the marriage ain't gonna last baby why it could last track record I don't know yeah well not your I'm tinny. Rel, yeah. you, he, bro, he'd be tripping, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, he's always in my business. This shit is crazy. That's your man, no, Rel. Not, no, I, that's your man, Rel. You know him. Listen, listen, you know I, him, Rel. I, I don't want to your bring man. Up, you, I don't want to bring up no old shit. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Um, well, thank you for that voicemail, Rel, and hopefully you uh use protection next time. You hear this. He definitely hit that roll. Oh, 100 percent You gotta hit that roll. You think he fought in the car? 
Yeah, right Super then and there. He yeah. fucked a yeah. Ram radio. He ran. Yeah. He did. He, <laughs> yeah. he had to go back 15 seconds and play that part again. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, fuck into a loop of your own name is. <laughs> I mean, these days, what is sick? There's some sick shit going on in the industry right now, man. Y'all, yeah, I man. I mean, man? oh my bad. I don't. I ain't know who, which one y'all. We only have one man. His name is Ro. Well, yeah, that's all. That's all, nigga. Shout out, Ro. Um, so everybody's aware of of the uh the, the new allegations, the new Diddy allegations of sexual uh fornicating with uh people that we may be familiar with. Their work, a few artists. Uh, came out yesterday or, or the day before yesterday. New new allegations from a former videographer for Diddy, uh, named producer. Producer, producer, yeah. producer? yes, mm-hmm. I thought, produced multiple records on the Love album. Not like seven or eight records for Brother Love himself, Little Rod. Yeah, I thought they said was, he was the videographer. No, 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 no. no. He's, he's a producer. producer. Oh shit, yeah, he, it's, that's Rod on the keys. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Well, mm-hmm. producer uh, came out and said that um, he is is he suing. He is, yes. He is suing uh, for damages. Diddy for sexual advances and things like that that he wasn't comfortable with. Um, and the internet just went crazy behind all these allegations. There was some names in the in the paperwork. Um, it was nice to see Twitter all be in the same book club for yeah, one day. Yeah. 70th I love pages. when that happens. I got to around 34 pages and I need to take a break. Yeah. And then I texted it. So you read the actual paperwork? I got to page 34 and then I really just needed to take a break. Okay. That and, then, yeah. and then it started to get more into the Cassie shit, which we had heard already. I think page 34, I got a grasp of. Okay. So let me ask you this. Do you believe any of these allegations? All right. We can get this out of the way. No, I think that paperwork is absolute bullshit. I don't okay. know any court that says an asterisk at the end and says he used to date Nicki Minaj. Yeah. The redacted. I'm not, I'm not an weird. expert in paperwork and will never pretend to be. Yeah. I'm just going to go with my gut here. I, not, do, I don't think any court system would do that. I don't think any of that. Any lawyer, like yeah, that would no. not be. I, I didn't think any of it was real once I saw that. I didn't even read 34 pages. I just saw that and was like, all right, this is clearly bullshit. The internet just wants to have fun today. And like, if that is actually what Little Rod's lawyer put together, I would think of like getting new counsel. Yeah, We're just supposed to assume that whatever judge in the Miami court like mm-hmm. is really familiar with who Nicki Minaj used to date. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought it <laughs> just was just performed at the Super Bowl halftime. That one, maybe you could, maybe a judge would know, but it seemed like bullshit. None of this feels real to me. None of it seems real. None of it feels real. None of it reads like it's real. What about all the photos and videos that are in this? Uh, have you seen them yet? I read the whole thing. Well, they were in the in the doc, there's screen grabs, and they say there's more, like, because they, they, at one point they say Diddy would take Lil Rod's phone and shoot and take photos of things that you know were illegal, illicit, whatever, and like just give him his phone back. And be like, here you go. And then so the, all of that stuff is like laced and and referenced in the uh, the document. I'll put it this way: with Do I think grabs? there's a world where everything Little Rod was saying in this fake paperwork could have happened? Sure. Oh yeah, I could. I don't see think it this behavior is is far off. Right. But I think that paperwork is actual bullshit. Yeah. And there needs to be some paperwork presented that is real i mean aside from that it was just fun to be online yesterday and just watch everything unfold and all the tweets happen in real time there's some there's some funny people on the internet like it's very rare that i read shit like for a day on about a topic and i'm like thoroughly entertained by the amount of just funny shit that people are saying on the internet what is it about this that you guys don't believe though can i ask you guys that I just don't, I don't believe that that's a, a, a real thing. I don't think that, I don't think that Puff and Meek are having sex. Just to be, be, be clear. Okay, I, I don't just think, want to be specific. I don't like think Meek is, I don't think things. Meek is gay. I don't think he's having gay sex. I don't, I don't believe that. Okay. So I'm just saying if there's things, that, things within this doc that we think are untrue, I want to just like specify what those are. Cause to say the whole thing is untrue. I don't believe that. You don't believe the whole thing is untrue? No. What part do you think is true? I mean, I think with Diddy's track record, we, we know he's drugged people. We know he sexually harassed people. Like that's, I think this is just uh, adding to something that's already known about him. Mm-hmm. I think within that, there are maybe incidences and things that can be negated. Maybe the Meek situation or mm-hmm. the Usher, whatever. But then there's other shit that came up, like the shooting at the club, not at the club, at the studio. Yeah. When they <laughs> said, you know, the the one dude was shot. Diddy shot him, allegedly. Mm-hmm. 
gave the gun up and then told everybody that was there and saw the, they didn't see the incident because the door was closed. He shot him in a bathroom, but he scrubbed the security footage of the, the uh, studio, told everybody there that tell the police when they show up that the dude was shot uh, by a stray bullet on a drive-by. Mm. Which and but then there's photos in the case that show the blood and the scene in the bathroom. I know I know that bathroom at Chalice. Like it's weird every time I go to Quad Studios and I'm like, this is the elevator pot got shot in. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. Now every time I go to Chalice, every time I take a piss, I'm just gonna be thinking about <laughs> who was shot here. Yeah, I don't think that everything in it was 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 false, but I just don't a lot of this shit just feel it just feels like bullshit. It's just like, all right, man, now y'all just having fun with this topic and just taking it any which way. Now, it could be 100% real. I'm just saying, I feel like a lot of this is bullshit, made up shit. If if the paperwork is real, it's a really shitty lawyer. And again, I think it's fake, so I didn't mind making light of it and joking about it. Yeah. Just like, picture that scenario, like you're working on the Love album and Puff comes up to you and he's like, yo, you know I fuck Meek and Usher. And you're is like, yo, he, is, is that, that an A sharp? Is that, what, is that what, what, what are we in? Is that what he said in the paperwork? Yes. That's how it happened. Yes, he told Lil Rod, like, yo, you know, I you know I fucked Meek and Usher, right? He basically said, like, this is normal in the industry. Like, I fucked the redacted, I fucked the redacted. And here, even Stevie J is doing it and showed the video of Stevie J allegedly having sex with a man. Yeah. I just feel like re- like I understand that that could be an industry norm to some people. I just feel like records could be made without like penetrating but each other. I don't think. Yeah, I think records could be made without <laughs> penetrating. But with Diddy, at least in the, all these cases and everything that all these stories we hear, it's for, for me, I think if I were to analyze this, I think for him, it's not about the sex. It's just about the power. Mm. So I think for him, he gets off on telling a straight man that to play by my rules, you have to do something that you wouldn't be willing to do in your personal life. But it's to get me off. It's just, I get joy out of watching a straight man fuck another guy. Because mm-hmm. it's, it's the highest level of power. <clears throat> right. So I think it's more about that than it is. Obviously, he doesn't need to do that to make music. I just think Diddy also, outside of the power, loves to hold shit over people because mm-hmm. he's doing a lot of fuck shit that a lot, if someone were to turn on him would get him in a lot of trouble. But right. if he has this over you, like, oh, you're married with kids, but I know you fucked this guy in the ass. Mm-hmm. Or like, I know you're doing drugs because he would carry all these like pill packs, like these like packs with uh, 2C, mm-hmm. um, which is ecstasy and like Molly together. Like, it's just, he puts you in a compromising position where if you turn your back on him, he can fuck you. Theoretically, not literally. literally. Well, literally too. Mm-hmm. But it's just like he, I think it's more about that dynamic of like, I, no matter what, you're in this because I have this stronghold over you. Do I believe it's your career? Because that was all right. the biggest threat was I own your career. I'll give you $250,000 if you shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. But then homeboy pushed back and he was only going to give him 50 grand. Mm-hmm. And even that he was holding over him like, I don't want to give it to you anymore. Right. And also like where I felt it was a little fake and sorry for being insensitive again. No disrespect to, to little Rod. But in every Funny page, nickname, by the way, in context, in every page, Puff <laughs> is sending him out to get the sex workers. He just like he just didn't give me the vibe that he was the guy you send out to get the sex workers. They said it was him and his son that he would send out. And they were like, oh, just throw a bad boy baseball cap on him. The hose will come. Now, do I think that wild shit happens in the industry? Of course, I know wild shit happens. But I think that now with everything that's coming out about Diddy, like we're going to start hearing like. Now we're just going to start hearing the wildest of stories. Like people are going to just start creating the wildest of scenarios. And um, and it's fucked up because, again, you don't you get to a point where you, now you don't know what to believe or who to believe. And that's the fucked up part, because some people that may come forward, their stories could be real. Yeah. And some people that come forward now, it's, just a, it's a money grab. They're just now creating shit and hoping that something sticks and. You know, uh, so it's just getting to a weird space right now. I mean, even in saying I think this is fake, it would take a lot of dedication to make a fake 73 page PDF with all this shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there could be some validity to it. Mm-hmm. I'm not against that part. I, I'm just with you on at this point, what's real and what's not. I think and no disrespect, Cassie's had a lot more validation mm-hmm. in how it was presented, mm-hmm. who it was. And I know it sounds fucked up, but I think you guys know what I'm. I mean when I say that. Yeah. It there was more validity to it. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying this isn't. I hope it, it sees it through and justice is served where it needs to be. But so we're gonna laugh a bit if 
in the paperwork. The bigger question Puff is this: Meek and Usher. So, so are you? You're saying that you think the lawsuit is just like not what he's saying in the lawsuit. You think the entire thing is like. No, I I think that Little Rod and this is speculation. I, I don't even know Little Rod. Honestly, I've never heard of him. Maybe I'm ignorant. He seemed like he did a lot of records on an album that's incredible. So respect to him. I wasn't familiar. He may have a real lawsuit. I think some early stages maybe of that lawsuit got leaked. Mm -hmm. I, this doesn't, again, feel real to me and how it was presented from a lawyer perspective. But um, yeah, I think he's probably suing Diddy. Well, the lawyer, Diddy's lawyer came out and said that the women that are denying being underage. So, but in, in also those those photos look crazy to me too. Like, here's an underage girl, a fuzzy photo. Didn't yeah. prove anything. He's saying that the girls are denying being underage. One of them is saying that she's Justin's girlfriend, um, and then the other one is just like a thirty-something-year-old woman. So, well, that ain't underage. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm now. When did? How long ago did these allegations allegedly this is, this take is place? This, this, this is, is from past, this like, is two years. yeah, from oh, the so creation it. of the live album. That's what I'm saying. It's just listen, man. We could crack jokes and like, but the bigger question is this: What does this do to the reputation, whether people believe it or not, to the people that were named in this lawsuit? Because Carisha got named too, and not and as being sued. Cousin. Yeah, not as being sued, but that her, yeah, her, her and Diddy sent. Um, her cousin in to suck his dick and he didn't want his dick sucked. Well, now, let's stop right there. Ma. Because if you send, if Damaris, if you send your cousin in here mm -hmm. or her sister or your sister and they were like, yo, listen, I'm trying to just, you know, we heard you've been a little tense. Edit. You know, it's just like, I don't know if I'm going to double back and be like, yo, I, I wasn't feeling that. When Shorty came in there to give me some head, I ain't like that. Well, okay, it's like but, she basically, he told her no, and then he ran out the room, and like she like chased him out the room. A nigga ain't never... See, this is this is why I don't believe none of this shit. Running from no head. nigga has ever ran out of a room after a girl has offered them head. Run out of the room? Run is, now, it, run is, run is funny. <laughs> I, like, now, but you got a girl like, that has literally pressed ran, on you but, that you didn't want to fuck or... Oh, no, now, some girls... Like, that, I'm cool. Some girls make advances, and you like, yo, I'm cool. Like, I ain't trying to do nothing with you. But I'm not running out of a room. I don't think he meant literally run, but like he got out of the bathroom and then Shorty still like was trying to suck dick. Can we get a picture of Carisha's cousin that they talking about? There's there's pictures in the... See, because that, that, that'll, that'll, that'll explain. Oh. That, I'm just saying that'll, that'll give true. me a lot of answers. Not, that'll give me true. a lot of answers. No niggas ain't running from no... If she's, if she's good looking... It was in the, well, the maybe, photos were in the studio. Do, do we know if he's straight? We don't know if Lil Rod is straight. Aha. Now, <laughs> now we get to some. <laughs> well, now, what's, wait, what's the sexuality be, where you're nothing? Like you don't want to fuck anything? Asexual. Because I mean, if you don't. Where you're nothing is hilarious. Is asexual means you don't have an intrinsic uh, sexual drive. You're just cool. You're, you're more of a platonic. You get uh, satisfaction from just platonic friendships with men and women or whomever. It's not like, I can't wait to fuck that person. It's like, that was a fun hangout. Because you can't really say he's gay oh, in the It's paperwork. another name for that. But we, we'll oh, save that. It's for not gay. No, it's some people just I don't have a sex drive. If well, he's, all right. I, I don't want to defend Maul, but I went to college with a guy that was asexual. And then years later, after college, he came out as gay. I'm just saying, man. This shit writes itself. Okay, yeah. But some people claim Actually, asexual when people. they're really gay. But some people are actually asexual. I know two people that did that. But how, I mean, how do I say this without you guys putting accusations on me? If you're a gay man... Nah, you and you have the opportunity too, to fuck Puff, Usher, and Meek, and you turn it down, I don't know if you're gay. True. It's a lot of options. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Like when, I'll put it this way, when Mike didn't want to fuck uh, Home Alone, I was like, he probably doesn't fuck kids. That's like the top echelon of kid. Yeah. And Mike was like, nah. Yeah. So I'm using that same <laughs> logic. That's the And if this guy had the opportunity to, you know, fuck some of the goats... <laughs> And didn't he just did the halftime show and then <laughs> you turned that and down. then ran away from Carisha's cousin who you know I mean is probably a real city girl at heart yeah what what Carisha raps about I'm sure her cousin lives yeah she's actually she's rapping actually rapping about her cousin's, cousin's life, life. And, yeah. and you ran away from that yeah. I feel like you're asexual <laughs> whatever man I just I you're just, married to the music I just had fun reading all the people that were like you know tweeting that tweeting me asking them questions um again I don't believe any of this shit about about well, me. Listen. But it was fun. The fucking what, tweets is hilarious. Once, and Meek was fighting for his fucking life. See, and that's... What does that do? What does this do to Meek's image? What, Meek true or not? Image. Meek does not have an image Meek anymore. does have an image. Don't do not, what is Meek's image? We're not, Twitter. Everybody has it. You think Meek Mill doesn't have an image? 
Yes. You don't think he has a for saying stupid shit? Yes. Whatever you want to call it. What does this do to his image? What does this accuse this allegation do? Oh, you're talking about the allegation. I thought you were talking about his tweets. I'm sorry. I want to clarify. No, no, no. The allegations. I'm like, he's already known for being tweeting stupid shit. No, these allegations. allegation, I don't think anybody really believes that Meek is gay. Okay. Uh, Nah. It was some girls in his, it was some girls in his, in his comments that was kind of alluding to like, "Mm mm-hmm. We been knew that, but it was some people. There was some, it was some notable girls in there that was saying some things. And I'm just like, see, this is where it gets iffy at because you would kind of think that shorty, these girls are you can kind of be like, all right, I believe her a little bit. These are girls that be around these guys. And mm. These are some girls that hold some secrets and things like that. But now that everything is coming out, you're starting to see a lot of these women online like, doesn't surprise me. You know, when they throw that out there, <laughs> you know, like, this ain't news. Yeah, this ain't but... news. This ain't... And it's like, wait, no, it's news to some niggas. Like, everybody don't know that. We we talked about that last episode. Sometimes bitter women will just oh, throw, for the, sure. throw the gay card on for you. For sure. So we don't know the backstory on that. I, again, I don't believe it. I, I was proud of Meek for about two hours because once this paperwork dropped, I thought we were going to get an immediate Meek reaction. Mm-hmm. And he took some time. I was like, damn, Meek is starting to, like, mature and sees this as absolute bullshit. Like, he's, why even acknowledge this nonsense? Right. I was wrong in about an hour. <laughs> no, he was saving him his draft. He's still going right now. He oh, hasn't no. stopped. Yeah, mm-hmm. as we're recording, Meek is still tweeting, unfortunately. And like coming out the gate. <sighs> and see that, and that for me, that's the only thing that I'm just like, that's what makes it look bad. But yeah. see, I had like when same. you just consistently tweeting and going in and fighting for your life. Yes, yeah, like bro. had other ways to fight. But I had this conversation with Rory where if Meek was a nigga that never tweeted anything or especially anything stupid and he got on there fighting for his life, then it would be like, oh, what you standing so hard on your square for? But Meek tweets goes on Twitter rants about dumb shit all the time. So of course somebody's saying he's gay, of course he's gonna go on a Twitter rant. That's his brand. So it's not like Yeah, but the it's the it's the, it's what you ranting though. Like telling me you like period sex to prove you ain't gay, mm. that don't really do it for me. He, like, like he that immediately don't really reacted like the guy that's getting roasted. He's like, yo, I get pussy though. Yeah, like, like it's nah, not like, just sit this one out. Yeah, like it's like that ain't you could just be like, yo, listen, check this out. Don't play with me with these allegations. And like, why are you bringing my and left it right there? It? Like, yeah, you could have left it. With her. You could have left it right there. Like, yo, you know what? Stop playing. I'm not. I, no, no disrespect to people that that get down like that, but I don't. That's not me. I don't. This is don't, but, don't but play that game. But that's not how Meek is. Meek doesn't answer anything. But that's like what I'm that. saying. So to go into like, yo, ask your favorites. I like period sex. That's it's like, dog, that ain't... Can you respect that he kind of tied it into the feeling that he gives in his music as well? Like, he was like, yo, I've ran red lights just to get that feeling. Like, it felt like an intro. They said I couldn't do it. Yeah, like, it yeah, felt like that, we doubted him forever. And he was like, nah, I run red lights I for that feeling. Honestly, I was on the fence with sexuality until I heard that he was willing to get a ticket by running red light for some pussy. That's pretty... That's straight as shit. I mean, he's, he's on probation. That's the straightest thing I've fucking heard of. One I love, one love to the gays. I don't even jaywalk for pussy. I'm pussy. I've definitely jaywalked for pussy. I've crypt walked for pussy. <laughs> Ma, what's, what, you, what you do? For? You did what for pussy? <laughs> I've, I've t- how many times do I have to tell the story? Maybe she did fuck Taylor. <laughs> you crypt walk for some pussy? <laughs> what does that even mean? What? Is, yeah, I don't. No, even... I mean it literally. I don't know. Like Wait, I don't... that was a, that wasn't a joke. No, like you actually did the crypt walk to get some pussy. I mean, it, it wasn't such straight in there, but I have done the Crip Walk like, and it has resulted in me getting pussy. What are you like, a hermit crab? There was, like rumors that, <laughs> there was rumors that Puff was with the Southside Crips yeah. forcing people to do shit. <laughs> Wait, you Crip Walk? Yeah. <laughs> Can we get the story? No. Yeah, like you have to tell me more. Like, how, where, where were you? Gang, gang. Yeah, but where were you? Like, I, was, I was in New York. You were in Syracuse? I was in New York. And it was a girl. Was she, was she a Crip? No. That was so her why, way of getting jumped in. But how did, okay, how did that result, how did you doing the Crip Walk result in you getting some pussy? Did she like, oh shit, I didn't know you could, I didn't know you was Crip, I didn't know you could dance? Like, like what my footwork. You go with your feet, lick me. We just saw Rel get pussy for lying about a podcast. <laughs> you don't think a like- Crip Walk will get it done? <laughs> it's some sick shit going on out here, man. See, this is why I got to start going. I just, I'm going to start going outside just to see the sick shit that's going on. Yeah, like, I just got to peek my head in to see. Crip Walking and getting some pussy is insane to me. <laughs> I feel like it's been done a lot. A lot, actually. I think Bobby got most of his first like undeserved pussy based off all his crip walking in that song that I won't name. No, but the, he got the pussy off the song. Yeah, but a lot of it had to do with his moves. No, it was the they weren't into lyrics. Song in the world, they were into Bobby. I listened to some dances. lyrics recently. 
Like I really listened. Like I sat and like instead of just dancing, like I sat and I listened. God damn, that nigga was talking, wasn't he? <laughs> like yeah. that nigga might as well. No, it sounded like a, a, a Keefy D confession. <laughs> that nigga was like, and no, he was in the video like. It's trigger, he be hollering, hollering. He is some hot nigga. Like pointing. He was pointing at the niggas in the video. Yeah. While he was telling. Great time, though. Great time. That was such a such a great summer. Yo. When that came out, that was the best oh, summer of my life. Great summer. One of the greatest summers ever. Um, so Maul, how do you feel that the theory that Meek is giving out there, like now that he owns his masters and they knew that he was about to like drop this crazy EP mm. that was all his publishing. All could go to his kids. It could go to the schools in Philadelphia. Mm. Meek said he was gonna um, page the the governor mm -hmm. and cut a deal. Mm -hmm. He was gonna cut a deal to give. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one that finds like just small things in no. sentences hilarious. No, this is I was laughing at the same shit. <laughs> he, he was gonna cut a deal. He was gonna negotiate with the governor about the money he wanted to donate yeah. to Philly schools. And this is why this came out. And what they typically do is, you know. Try to demasculate you if that's even a word. Demasculate. You try to put him in a dress and tried to tried to make him gay. This is what Cat was talking about. Like Meek is just trying to do the science. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that any of that is true at all. Um, By the I'm way, not sure no one Meek knew was Meek was putting an EP yeah, out until nobody after. had a clue that that new music was coming. Like I just uh, again, the internet is having fun with this shit. Cool. I don't believe it. I think some of Meek's tweets don't help you not believe it. It's kind of like yo. Saying you like period sex is just not it for me, bro. But, you know, whatever. I think he did the right thing. Just lean into what is now the Meek Mill tweet character. And I think Freak like, Mill is like trending right now. Freak, freak Mill. Mill. Oh, my God. Well, he's, fa he's facing he's facing a Freako is what they said. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> facing a Freak. I didn't come up with that joke. It was on Twitter. Freak Mill is fucking hilarious. That's, that's trending right now. You fuck the girls twice a day, though. I don't know. That's fucking. Freak Mill. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my first time hearing that. I, but this, but again, it's, 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 it's only fucked up because I don't, you know, no matter what, this does, this does oh, damage so funny. Uh, Meek's image in some way. Like when your name is a part of some shit like this, like whether it's true or not, like it does damage your image. But gay shit, alleged gay shit be coming out about rappers all the time. Every, nah, every but rapper has had a gay room. Yeah, but it's, cer it's, certain, it's certain rappers that if that is even falls on their jacket, it, it it does a lot of damage. It does. And so for somebody like Meek and with, you know, Meek's content, what he raps about and, you know, things like that, like this, this, this damages Meek's image. It does. I just think it's hilarious for Philly that like Uzi is the straight one and Meek is the gay one. <laughs> just like, I think it's a weird 2024 duality of everything. I went out on a ledge and put my conspiracy theories out there. I'm still being killed on the internet. For what? Rock Nation? I mean, I, I did the science. Mm-hmm. We found out during the Tory Lanez trial that Rock Nation controls the United States judicial system. Mm. That was clear as day in the Tory Lanez case mm -hmm. that Rock Nation controls the courts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, we know that Rock Nation is being paid to push the LGBTQ agenda. That's a fact. That's a fact. We also know that Meek is an affiliate of Rock Nation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Done a lot of stuff with Hove, Dez, everyone, all the great stuff they're doing there. Right. As the client and controlling the court system, mm. they got that paperwork from the court system True. because they just went down to their office. Everyone knows Rock Nation offices is just the Supreme Court. Took the paperwork, put it on the internet. Also, him being a client, LGBTQ is in right now. Meek has to put this EP out. Mm. Let's make him gay and combine it with our court system. Mm. Free Meek. So you did all that math. Crack the code. Hmm. Are you surprised at this rollout? I think it falls in line with everything that we've seen this year. I think people are just stupid. How about that? <laughs> I think people are dumb. People are stupid. And, you know, it's unfortunate that your name ends up in bullshit. Like, imagine being meek and you just wake yeah. up and your name is in okay. this type of shit, though. Like, like just imagine that. You chilling and your niggas like, yo, you ain't, you ain't going online yet? You like, nah, what's up? Yo, your name is some crazy shit. Like, all right, let me ask you a question. Put yourself in Ramik's position. Okay. You know you didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Do you text Puff, yo, did you really say that shit? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing I thought, like, yo, homie. Yeah. I'm calling. Fuck a text. You, yo, you said you said you fuck me. 
I might even give like that first intro, like, oh, Puff, how you doing? I know shit's been crazy. Like, you know, I hate to, to call you, but no. As friends, bro. Like, nah, you got just, it. Just, did you say that shit? Nah, I, I, I would, know you be saying shit. Sometimes. Nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even. I, that's not how I would. I was approach it like, yo, what the fuck? What is this shit? Like, what the fuck is going on right now with all the shit on the internet? That's how you got to reach out. Like, yo, what, what the fuck is this shit? I'm not hating you like, yo, you said that? Because you, come on, bro. If I, if you, you, you cool with Puff, you don't, you, you know he didn't say that. Like, you know he didn't say but, If right. it didn't happen. What if, all right, what if it didn't happen, but Puff said that and tried to explain to Meek on the phone, like, yo, daddy, daddy, daddy. You know, I got to give a lot of inspiration. <laughs> the studio, I was trying to get A-Rod, Lil' Rod into the same Every motivational zone that All you're Rod. in. Like, I needed him to make dreams and nightmares for me. And the only way I could put him in that position was to say that I fucked you and I blew his fucking mind. And we got the love album. Love mm. one. I'm brother love. Fucking is love. Yeah. Nah. Even if we've never fucked, you're my brother. So we fucked. Yeah. Nah, Our minds I, have. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not rolling. I wasn't a good puff impression. All right, no. Yeah. I'm not rolling. That daddy, daddy, daddy was good though. <laughs> <laughs> you mind fuck someone? We talked about this mental head. Remember that? We said mental head, mental anal. Maybe Puff is just mentally cracking muffins. Here's the thing. If Puff like no? right. never did like any of the, the nasty shit, Puff already took over the world to some degree. Imagine if he was like openly bisexual. He would be bigger than anybody. Pause. Is it? I don't, like, know, just about, I don't know about that though. I don't know about that. It's funny you asked me a question at the end of last year and was like, do you think if this Keefe D shit gets back to Puff, it'll ruin Puff's legacy? And I was like, nah, nothing could ruin Puff's legacy. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Boy, did that change in a fucking month. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. This shit, is, this shit is weird. I don't know what the fuck is going on in the industry. I know that crazy shit goes on. I do. I'm not, I'm not trying to get away from that. But I just think now it's cool to just make up shit about people and let lies run around and let people just jump in on bullshit accusations. Like that's to me, that's the fucked up part, because, again, what if it's all of this is bullshit? Mm -hmm. Not saying it is. I, I think it is. But, I'm you know, that's just my opinion. This but one, what if this this is one all, in particular. Yes. This we're talking about this in particular. Mm -hmm. What if this is just pure bullshit? Then, That's this is fucked up and simple. Nation, you will crumble. Simple. <laughs> you think it's that in Rock Nation? What? Why? No, I'm saying if, if stuff like this. <laughs> Listen, I know Tory Lane's father to be a praying man, so mm -hmm. you never know. <laughs> Weird times, but whatever, man. Have fun. Uh, I love the meek tweets. Um, I like laughing at shit online. That's that's all the shit is for me. It's just all fun. Um, did you guys listen to Meek's EP? Hell of a rollout. Gotta give him that. That's up there with the 2014 still drive. Yeah, it came out at midnight. Oh, no, I didn't hear it. Don't. Did you hear it? What Jay called? I listened to it. How was it? Um, I will be honest um, and not disrespectful. Mm -hmm. As someone that enjoys Meek's music, just giving my point of view, it sounds like every time Meek makes a new project, he asks all the producers to go listen to all the music he's already made and give him the same beat. Like, yo, listen to what I made two years ago and just give me that, give me that same beat. Mm. So the music sounds dated. More of the same. Okay. Just more of the same. I'm going to listen to it only because, again, I, you know, I'm somebody that always championed and rooted for me. I think he's important. And, um, you know, it's always good to hear guys that you listen to put out a new, new project. I also don't think that he planned on putting this out. Oh, no, I don't, I don't think so. Even like the I mixes that... sound different. The masters sound different. It sounds like his team did what they should have done. This moment was crazy. And then halfway through his rants, he was like, yo, go to God. I'm putting out an EP at midnight. I mean, the why music not? even felt right. It felt like shit that was on his hard drive that he was eventually going to place on a project, but was like, yo, we got this moment. Yeah, I'm about to we say, I'm not mad shit. at Let's, that. I'm not, I'm not if mad you got at that, If you got the, if you had the-, the It's the, just not the right music. Yeah, no, it's not, not that it's not just the right music. It's not the right momentum to have putting out an album like granted it's a moment and your name is trending online and everybody is talking about you and said so i was like all right fuck it we're gonna put some music out yeah but if the music isn't good if the music isn't hitting and you know it's like uh more the same we get it you know but show us something different show us a different angle give us some different sounds like coming off the puff and usher threesome you have to give me like a war pain 
that type of like you need to give me that type of record. Mm-hmm. That's what I need from me, not five records of the same shit. So it's only five records, I believe five or six, <laughs> somewhere in there. Well, I'm gonna definitely check it out. Um, hopefully, it's a few on there that I fuck with because again, I I, I do root for Meek. I want to see Meek do good. Same, and I think the core Meek Mill audience will like it. Mm-hmm. But someone that enjoys Meek's music is more the same to me. More the same. It, it, the paperwork was way more entertaining. Who produced it? I I don't know. Okay. Uh, whoever did their best impression of Jaleel Meek Beats. Type beat. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like he YouTube Meek type beats for this. I'm gonna check it out. Well, staying on the topic of sexual acts with artists. And Who's part, been freaky now? Pardon my white face again. Omale? Omale. Omale. Huh. Omale. 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 I don't even want to try to put the accent on it. It feels more racist if I try to do the accent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Omale. So I'm just going to... Omale. Mm-hmm. All my life. <laughs> um, believe at the end of last week, he had a concert. Very popular uh, Afrobeats artist. Mm-hmm. I know uh, there was a lot of white news calling him an R&B sensation, which I thought was funny. So I'll do my best not to white this You up. know that y'all think all of us is the same? Yeah, well, it's all, it's, well, it's yeah. all R&B. You know music, music but well, I just, the others. Hey, man. Everything's blues. That's right, exactly. <laughs> when you get down to the just the guitar and the string. Everything is what Elvis created. Exactly. Um, so at his show, a young lady went up on stage to dance with him. I assume this is part of every set that he does. He brings a fan on every stage. Kid, you know how it goes. She dances in the silhouette and they get a little, you know, a little freaky. Mm-hmm. Um, come to find out she was there with her boyfriend of a year. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the camera on TikTok just kept panning to his face as his queen was being thrusted and dry humped in a beautiful silhouette. Mm -hmm. Pain in his face. Yeah. Saigon, pain in my life. Yeah. Mm. Kai, great streamer, took it upon himself to step up for men around the entire world and get this gentleman on his stream and bring 20 women to get him a new girl. Mm -hmm. And he gave him 20 bands. And gave him 20 bands. But, you know, Kai wipes his ass with 20 bands. That was, you know, that was not even rent. Still then. a nice gesture. I thought it was great what Kai did for this gentleman, but we started to get more details. Originally, we thought they had been together for seven years, just under a year they had been together. And the woman actually said they had discussed that prior to. They knew they were in the front row. She's a huge fan. She bought the tickets for them. And she said, yo, I'm going to go on that stage if he calls me. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to side with the girl as more information is coming up. Yeah, but th- th- this is all bullshit because that wasn't even Omar and the girl dancing at the silhouette. It's a pre-recorded image that pops up at every show. No, they had the back oh. stage. They was getting to it. No, I don't think. I think that that's look at that's not M- Mo. That's them. That's them. You that's them right there. This angle. Oh well, then I, it's I, I never an evil saw. World. I never. I never saw this this angle of it. Yeah, that's the that's stage that. hands were even in on the pain. I mean, at this point, okay, I can understand. He hurt. Oh my God, he's hurt. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Let me put myself in this gentleman's position. I'm sure on the car ride over there, her being a big fan, probably brought up like, hey, he does this thing in his set. I saw at other shows where he brings a girl up. We'll be in the front row. We're getting there early. I'm going up there. Him probably thrown back a bit by that statement was like, it'll never happen. So let me just hold it down and not get emotional. I'm just let that one ride away. He calls her immediately to go on stage. You've already committed because she said it to you already. You should have turned the car around if you had an issue with that before we even got to the show. No, but it's not on. It's not on. See, it's not on him, though, because it's that in that situation. That's on your girlfriend to, you know, if it does happen, it's like you can't go on stage with an artist and let an artist just grope on you and have you in these compromising positions, these sexual innuendos mm-hmm. and things like that. When you, your boyfriend is, even if your boyfriend wasn't at the show, just the fact that you have a boyfriend yeah. and you know that this is going to be on the internet, this lives on the internet, everybody in here has a camera. Like you can't put yourself in that position. So the bigger thing is why are women comfortable, I guess, disrespecting their boyfriends like that? Because that is because if it was the other way around, if it was the other way around, we just saw Kiki Palmer and Usher mm-hmm. last year, and what that caused. Um, well, I mean, this, this that makes, wasn't the other way around, though. This the makes same. Kiki look. No, like I'm just a saying, no, I'm just saying, like, let's just say this was the other way around. 
I'm just saying we we saw what Kiki Palmer, you know, and Usher with that caused. Um, if a girl was at a show mm-hmm. with her boyfriend and I don't know Tiana Taylor at a Tiana Taylor show, mm. and Tiana pulls your boyfriend on stage and she starts dancing on him, grinding on him. Women would feel some type of way about that. Women would feel disrespected. Say it. No, they some wouldn't. wouldn't. Why they wouldn't? Some would. Wouldn't, bro. What's the, give me? A, can you give me a guesstimate percentage? But why wouldn't why why wouldn't women feel no type of way? Sixty percent, I think, would feel away. Why wouldn't women feel away? Cap. Not all women want to fuck Tiana and like think that way. Some women, women just straight up like their boyfriend and don't want a girl touching them. Even if women want to fuck Tiana, they, they it's her boyfriend up there. They not up there. I think it's disrespectful for the boyfriend to go up there. I, I'm with you. This is all I'm saying. Okay, but while that is disrespectful regardless, if you're going into it and she's being honest, if me and my girl are on the way to the Kid Rock show and she's like, if Kid Rock calls me up to shotgun a Bud Light with him, I'm doing that shit. <laughs> That'd be fun. If he wants to pour Bud Light into my mouth, I'm doing it. I'm a huge Kid Rock fan. I would feel a fucking way. But she was honest with me and told me that would happen. And I know I'm going in the front row. Nah. It's like going to the front row of a, of a comedy show when you're with your girl. Like, you know you're about to be a target. No. You've different. accepted it. That's different. Roy, there's such a big leap between you having that level of conversation than going into like a 3,000 person venue and being the person that literally gets singled out. And she did what she said she was going to do? No, because like th- there's such a... Because you don't... even Everyone goes to that show and it's like, I'm, there's no way I'm going to get... Like there's so much that has to happen. You don't go to a people. show thinking, yo, yo I'm going to get pulled, get pulled up, yeah. on stage. No, I said that in the beginning. I, I felt like he just let that brush over because he didn't want to ruin the night because he's like... That's not gonna. It's not gonna happen. So what happens? We'll address it when we get home. Of course, you you no. He should be mad. You can be mad, but you can't punish me for it. If I gave you the warning, if I gave you the warning, get the fuck out of here! (laughs) I can't punish you for it. We're not. We're not together. So no, you're right. I'm not punishing you. We're just not together no more. All right, but look at like this move. No, even if you tell me prior to, and then you go do this on stage, we're we're done. (laughs) We're fucking done. Are you kidding me? We're gonna enjoy the rest of the show. Have a great night. I can respect you a little more because you said you was gonna. You did what you said you. Man, listen, that's just disrespectful. Look at this move. Like if is this was your girl like come on that'd, what be, a, we that'd be a rough one to get through that's tough like what are we talking about that's not I, I i'm not doing that he's we're weird he's weird for staying like saying we're not doing that i wouldn't do it i would have been in the parking lot Demaris before i even saw that movie the marriage would have went on stage no i wouldn't have the marriage would have went right no. on stage and not if i was about, with my boyfriend i don't get in relationships with niggas i don't respect no i wouldn't mm, have did that if i was mm. with my boyfriend I would have did that. Would you have, if you were the guy, Maul, and your girl's back in this, <laughs> Come on, in stop this curtain, it. say say it happened, would you would you wait for her to be done or would you just leave? Like, while this is happening. Oh, no, nah, when she get back, I'm I'm, I'm already, got, I got three new numbers. Wherever I'm sitting at, I'm like, yo, so what y'all doing you after this? You'd you move that commodity? After? Yeah. Get the Bam, fuck out of here. There's no way. If I've been dating a girl for a year and we go to a show and she does this. You think you'd get that much sympathy pussy immediately? Oh, yeah. 100%. Everyone you'd be, you'd is, be like a widower? 100%. 100%. Is I'm cleaning up at the Omar Lay show. But how you even like in the midst of that turn around and be like, yo, that's my girl. Look, it's nothing but women around him. Look at this one girl. She's she's filming them and then cutting to his face. You <gasps> Look think at her. You- she's surprised. She's like, that's your bitch. <laughs> and you was like, funny. Yo, that's your bitch. Security usually makes you take your arms and stop leaning on that gate. Security just let him rock. <laughs> like, listen, bro, I know you need the support. That's rough. Damn. Yeah, I would never. I wouldn't. I could never do that to a man I love. That's I so fucked never. up. That's now, fucked if I was up. on like, That's if we a- went like on a date, like if you was my sneaky link or some shit, and he <laughs> treating you, he behind that motherfucking curtain treating you like a rag doll. Bend over, <laughs> bitch. Take these back shots. You can't just treat my girl like that. Don't. We not doing that. So I'll shoot this whole concert up. <laughs> even though I was on the the woman side here to some degree, like Vegas, she, she did what she said she was going to do. I'm here to judge all the women that did the Kai. 20 verse one thing. What type of girl after watching how easily this girl just left that man makes him attractive? You couldn't even control your girl. She didn't have that any respect for you. Why would a woman want to be with him? I mean, like, I know it's for Kai's stream. We know why they were, they weren't really there yeah. to try to date. Nah, he's, old boy, I mean, right? hopefully he ain't trying to get into no relationship right now. Hopefully he ain't one of those that's like, you know, he seemed like the type that wants to bounce right back into one. Nah, man, you gotta Last buy, you gotta, you gotta throw your shit around and have fun now. He looks like he's gonna post in one week, like I finally found my soulmate. Had to, had to go through the trenches, reason. yeah. Like, oh my lay, fi- finally found the one. That's disrespectful. He started getting man. brand deals because of the the Kai look. 
which is cool. So he's at least financially of, he's of, coming up. Of what? What brand deals? There was some like food company. I saw he did like a, a digital ad for. Yeah, like a fat. I don't know. Some like he's a nice looking young man. He's a nice guy. But Wait, like, so, if you had a brand, like, what you would want this you, gentleman? Yeah, like, you would want to attach your brand to him for what? I would give him something like Peloton or something. Peloton for what? Yeah, like, oh, you know, if you were had more muscles, you wouldn't get your bitch snatched or something like that. But more white people. <laughs> what? <friendly. laughs> what? <laughs> if you had more muscles, you wouldn't. You get wouldn't get your snatched. bitch snatched. That's yeah. the tagline. That's for the that's, that's what no. Peloton's gonna tell you the caption under that's, your fucking. That's the Equinox ad for the gay sex. Yeah. Steve, like. <laughs> What if you have more muscles? Like, you obviously wouldn't... not in that copy, but yeah, like something around that. Uh, the woman, so Kai DM the woman too because he first reached out to her, not the guy. Yeah, and she messaged him back and said, "I'll come on your stream if you pay me." So she was trying to solicit money from Kai. So Kai dubbed it the girlfriend. The girlfriend. Kai said, "Fuck you," and hit the boyfriend. Well, the ex boyfriend. Shout out to Kai for that. Okay, so I have shout a shout out to Kai for knowing his audience. I have a real personal yeah, question because we do have someone in this room that's been on the other side of this. Huh. We do have someone in this room that's been Omele. Maul, you've been in situations at shows where a girl has came with her boyfriend, disrespected her man, and then came to the green room with you. Does Omele beat or does he just respect what just happened with her and her, no, her man? You can't beat. You can't have sex with that girl. Don't fuck fans, y'all. Yeah, no, you can't do that. But that's a different rule than what I think Rory's asking. It's it's a similar situation though. Similar no? situation. No, how? Well, I'm saying take the she fan part. She definitely went out to the it. green room afterwards. No, take the know. take the oh. fan part out of it. Just just do like regular non celebrity shit. If if you see that like a girl disrespect a dude, but then she ends up with you, would you be now, take the fan side no, out okay. of it? Hell no. Okay. Hell no. No. You definitely fucked a bitch that disrespected her nigga before. So. I would. Yeah. Like in front of me. Yes. No. But not at a show. You've been on the other side of that. Huh? Never mind. Oh. See, now we have both perspectives. Up. You got me fucked up. No, because I handled it right. Kai should have had me on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> to get t t t 20 Kai, white girls for you? Give it to 20 white women and 20 men. <laughs> did you handle it right, though? Yes. Yeah. What are you talking about? Are you crying in the rain? He did. Kai, don't put that on my it jack. The, we're, not re we're not rewriting rain. history. <laughs> he, he definitely cried, cried in, in the rain. rain. Sure. Got me fucked up. If the tears fall while the rain falls, was it a tear? Yep. Mm. <laughs> yep. If a tree falls in the forest, yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. Yep, so. it is. He he was crying. It is just cool that we have this perspective where we have Omale and we do have the guy in the uh, flannel right here. Wow, Kai did this uh, on Zoom, the twenty women thing. I thought that was ice bite. Oh, so yeah, twenty girls on Zoom. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a string. Trying to see if there's anything up there that you know. Okay, she's she's cool. Which one? Okay, you got some. You got some. The, you got some middle candidates up there. Row, yeah, you got some candidates up there. Higher. There's a lot of heavies. Oh, also, you've been in this situation before. What situation? Remember in the clubhouse days when we did like the uh, for the love of mall thing with like oh, yeah. 20 women on stage during the pandemic clubhouse mm -hmm. days? What was that like being bombarded with 20 women wanting to verbally sleep with you? <laughs> Just, verbally. All you could see was their avies. Um, that was just a sign of us being extremely bored. That Going off the of Abbey is sick. That is very true. And trying to find a way to just entertain ourselves during the pandemic. Yeah. Um, but it was fun, though. It's always fun to, like, just have a bunch of women talking and trying to, you know, see if women are cool or who would you date or who you're attracted to. Mm -hmm. It's You know, it was fun. You asked some some pretty deep questions. A lot of women were willing to to hide the work. Or be a mule for you. Yeah. A lot of mules out there. I did, did anyone see this, this stream with this gentleman? Like, what type of questions did he ask? Are you into Afrobeats? <laughs> no, I, I didn't see that shit. I, I don't, I've never seen a Kai stream. Uh, Maul, I want to play his voicemail for you because you are a street doctor and you say mental health is running rampant. A street doctor? Yeah, you're a street pharmacist. A street pharmacist. Just call me a nigga. Go ahead. It's okay. Well, there's, I mean, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, this is, a, this is a question about mental health. Like in the street. Hey guys, my name is Gerald. I'm from the BX. Um, I have a question for everybody in the room. The not really pertaining to me, but it, it does bring up a great is conversation. Right over left or left over right? Um, right over left. I have my, my my girlfriend has a best friend that just recently broke up with her man. Um, the reason for that was one night she was running feeling really low, depressed, and 
she was trying to explain to him, like, there's going to be nights where I'm going to be feeling this way because I just started dating. Um, there's there's going to be nights where I'm going to be feeling this way. I'm going to be depressed. All I need you to do is to be here with me. And basically what he said was, I don't believe in mental health. And if you're feeling sad and depressed and low, let's hit the gym. And when I was told that, I was like, yo, it's crazy that it's 2024 and we still have that. Some of us do have that mindset, which is crazy. So my question is to y'all is, would you guys date somebody that doesn't believe in mental health? Thank you, guys. Um, I've been supporting the pod since day one. Love y'all and peace. Not believing in mental health is crazy. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you could date somebody that like. How do you? First of all, how do you not believe? They in said go work out. <laughs> mental health. Like, how do you not? Then believe I guess you have to believe in it if your solution is like that'll fix it. Working out. That's still a, a form of belief, no? Yeah, I think that that can help with mental health issues. Working out, exercise. Um, I think that's actually something that they tell you to do, but um. Dating somebody that doesn't believe in I don't even know how anybody could not believe that mental health was a real thing. I don't even understand that. You've given some harsh criticism in some of those topics to people. Yeah, but do I say mental health is not real? No, but you'd be like, yo, you pussy, like, figure it out. Oh, yeah. I mean, my diagnosis and my my prescriptions that I I, saw, I fill out is... It's kind of harsh at times, but Street I believe, diagnosis. yeah, but I believe that mental health is real and it, it's a real thing and it's something that you should definitely address and take care of. But I don't know if you can date somebody that doesn't believe in mental health. Like, how do you not believe in mental health? I'm also going to put, I'm going to victim blame a bit here. How many red flags do you have to ignore before you find out your boyfriend doesn't believe in mental health? Ciao. Like he's so, he's so understanding and he's sweet and like loves me. And then, like a year later, he's like, "Yo, I don't believe in none of that shit that's in your mental." What I it's, like that's that's a sick conclusion. There I, had to be so like a breadcrumb trail. I to think, that position. I think he doesn't believe in depression. That's what I think because not believing in mental health is like that's not even a a real thing, a coherent <laughs> sentence. Like yeah, like you can't. You know what even, I'm saying like that doesn't even make sense. I think he doesn't believe in depression. That's probably that's better, yeah. probably what that is. And that's I, sick too, though. It is sick, but I also think that that's when you're in a relationship and everything's good. I think a lot of people come into come into problems in their relationship when they're in a relationship with somebody and they're in that honeymoon stage and everything's great, and then people start showing the other one that they're human, and that's where a lot of problems come in because a lot of people don't address their own mental health and their own depression. So he's like, oh, just go work out. Oh, so what that tells me is that you don't like sitting in your feet. You don't like actual, actually dealing with your feelings. You're an escapist. So you probably work out. You probably don't sit down and have time with your thoughts. You probably keep yourself very busy so that you don't have to think about your feelings or what's going on in your head. And that's a huge red flag and she needs to get the fuck out of Dodge. Like, honestly. So you couldn't deal with somebody that doesn't believe in mental health? No. Well, first of all, you're an idiot. That you're just like, because that's just scientifically like you're stupid. Right. So no. Like meek tweet. Yeah, that's OD and meek tweet for sure. <laughs> for sure. It's <laughs> just synonymous <laughs> with. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> not believing in the fact that some people have chemical imbalances in their brain, not believing in the fact that sometimes life situations will put you in a bad state of mind and affect your body and your hormones and the way that you're able to deal with life. Not believing in that is... Now, there's an other hurt. side to that, though, because there are some people that use the mental health thing as... Of course. Uh, sure. An excuse for them to do fucked up shit in a relationship. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, of course. Like, a lot of people lean on that. Like, oh, you know, Absolutely. mentally, I'm just, you know, I'm going... Just say you're a fucking cheater, like... That has nothing to do with your mental health. No, they was fighting demons. No, they grannies. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> fighting demons? Oh, man. They didn't believe in me. <laughs> they said I'd amount to nothing, Ma. Who's a, who told you that? I don't know. Meek told me that How one. How was I supposed to act with this, this Roly? <laughs> Saying like, this Roly and holding up a wooden bracelet is sinning. <laughs> they said I'd amount to nothing. I used to pray for times. Oh, sorry. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she needs to get the fuck out of Dodge. She's especially if she suffers from mental health problems. Like he just did you a favor, baby. That was a gift from God. Okay, well, I'll open this question up because I feel like we all agree on this. What is something that someone's done that you've dated that is like a big no no for you personally? And did you stick with it or just end it there? 
Like you completely disagree with something, whether it be political views, uh, usually it's like politics, religion, or or something socially. Then you're like, that's ridiculous. I can't do this anymore. Um, it, to me, it's always a red flag when you're dating a girl and she has a kid, but like she doesn't have a relationship with her kid. Like her kid is not, she doesn't, a kid is not in her life. Mm. Like, yeah, it's a pretty big red flag. Yeah, that's like a... It's fucked up. You can understand if a guy is on the end, other end of that. Like if a guy's like, yo, you know what I mean? Baby moms, whatever, whatever. Like, And he does it. But he's still a piece of shit if he's not taking care of his kids. If you're not paying child support and doing things like that and being in his kid's life, he's still a piece of shit. But you can understand him. Like that's how it usually goes. But a mom not being in her kid's life. What if she's paying child support? That's still like, that's still that's still crazy. To it, me. it wasn't a relationship I was in, but we were in Detroit when it was Henny Palooza, and we had a hypnotic deal. So hypnotic went to like a couple cities, and they brought like bottle girls that were signed to hypnotic. Hypnotic girls, yeah. yeah. The so we were all like in the green room before <laughs> things started, and like everyone's just getting to know each other, and like small talk, which led into who has kids. And Everybody was flirting, yeah. And one of one of the girls. <laughs> Mentioned that she did not have custody of her child. And the first thing I thought was exactly what you said. She like, got custody of these bottles. How fucked up do you have to be where the court said, nah, mom can't have her? Yeah. That's like a, that's, that's like a crazy. That's a different level of, you got to tell me more. Like you can't just throw that out there and think we can just gonna move on. They empower me an incredible Hulk. And I yeah, need like, to watch you open all those bottles. Yeah. Like you can't be left unattended with the bottle. Yeah, it's just shit. it's just strange. That's all. Just it's just very peculiar for a woman not to be in her child's life. Like what happened? What's I, going on there? I mean, having eat, pray, love in your kitchen, like easy pussy, but red flag. Yeah, I don't want to read your walls. Yeah, I've. I've I want to fill them. Like mm. you look like right when you walk into Home Goods, and your apartment looks like that. I, there's too many red flags. And like if your shit matched too much, if your decor in your house matched too much, we're trying to have a serious conversation. And look at him. But no, nigga, no, you're on, he's on to their throw pillows to their window to treatment. Yeah, like I, I, nah, I if your like, shit yeah. matched too much, I'm with you. Like if your decor is like oh, like everything matches out the like, catalog. Yeah, it's like I always uh, found that corny when dudes just look at like a showroom and you're like, that's it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's for like the girl that no like, creativity. That's not you. You have like, no that, creativity. Yeah, that's not you at all. Well, just, some people and don't I feel have like creativity. I don't feel like that's a reference. Yeah, but, but, but that's impossible in 2024 to me because you could literally follow creativity. True. You could literally you hijack could, someone. Yeah. You could but, hijack but creativity. Y'all are y'all are talking about people hijacking no, 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 creativity no, no, no. from nah, the people to, in the catalog. But to walk in the crate and barrel. No, no, no. I'm saying cream set. Yeah. I'm, what First Julian all, is crate saying. Barrel has a great cream set. Thank <laughs> you. I, ha I have the crate and barrel cream set. <laughs> it's, it's fine. No, what, crate what, what Julian is Not saying an ad, is, but boy, you guys are great. <laughs> what Julian is saying is that when you just see something and be like, I, I want everything just like that. That's like, come on. But there's also like a lower level of that. The guy that like sees the mannequin at Saks and is just like, give me that. We know yeah. that guy. Oh, yeah. You're just tricked, like you're the mannequin yeah. of the designer shit. Mm -hmm. Same guy. Yeah, but don't make that your living space though. Yeah. I feel like that's the same mindset. It's different for a fit. Yeah, you get a fit. Like it's and even that, I don't understand how people, because again, you it's so many, you know, profiles and pages and things you can follow on social media to where if you don't have style, it's like, but you can follow people that have style and kind of like mimic off of them and kind of like you know what I mean like so it's it's weird now for when pe you see people and you're like yo you really don't have like zero sense of style like how is that possible when you can literally follow some of the flyest coolest people in the world and just look at what how they put pieces together mm, but even with that sometimes they can follow them but those people are fly because that looks great for them they yeah. put that They're together for, for them. Yeah, but a lot of those people are. a lot of other those... people wear it it's like mm. yeah but don't they give you like a little tips on how to Throw pieces together and things like that. Like it's it's easy it's easy now to to have style to me because again you can just follow people that have style and kind of like Jack Sauce. Like mm. so how how are you still sitting around but, with no but, styles? But like, do you know mm. that those same people that have that style that you're telling people to Jack are the people who design the mannequins and style the mannequins? What do you mean? You're saying Jack style from people who have style. Mm -hmm. 
the stylists and the people who have style are the ones decorating the mannequins. They're also the ones putting together. Yeah, the but a lot of those people that des- that dress mannequins in these in these department stores, these, these are not like a lot of the cool people on social media. Some of these are just people that just work at the store. And this is just what's new. We, we got in new in the store. Well, I'm mannequin. talking about like designer. Yeah, it's also like, and a lot of these stylists don't have just because you're a stylist doesn't mean you have style. That's a fact. No, for sure. Like I know a lot of stylists that be styling people. I'm like, bro, I, how? This person paid you for this look? That's a fact. You look fucked. This person, he looks crazy. And you weren't even like able to pull that fit. Like they had to pay for it and pay you. Yeah, like that's I, just because you put stylists on, blah, blah, bro. I don't care that you wore a mink coat with a Yankee hat. That don't mean you fly. But because <laughs> so get out of here. But because it's so easy to just follow shit. Yeah, I think it's like the job. Chrysler. Versus Bentley theory, like everything looks good until the Bentley shows up. The person that actually has right. style, you can see the absolute difference. Like somebody could look like they have it, right? Till somebody shows up that actually has it. Yeah, I don't even know how we got down that path. Oh, I also think women that have a bunch of pink shit, like back to the color theme, have childhood. See, but you guys, the the original question, <laughs> the original question, uh, to completely tied together, really pink everything, shit with absolute yeah. sub, with uh, actual substance. Talking, have yes. you ever dated someone who had a difference in opinion or views? I'm talking about the character of the person, yes. not their fucking uh, walls in their kitchen. Uh, their views on Christ and who he really was. A girl that was hell bent. I remember I met a girl and she was hell bent on the whole vaccination thing. And she would not stop talking about it. No, but she was, I'm assuming she was pro vax. Yeah. So you were like, I'm I'm good. You gave her I, your needle and then you said, I'm No, out. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> as, as someone that's not vaccinated, you gave her I think your I'd, needle. I'd rather her a jab. I'd rather take the, the pro vax person than the anti vax person. No, I but think it's the anti vaxxer is more annoying, to be honest. But even if even if even if whatever your view is, like you can have your views, but when you start to try to push those views on to somebody that you're talking to or dating. That's when it becomes annoying. That's when it's like, yo, shut the fuck. Like, okay, I get it. You're pro-vax. Great. That doesn't mean you have to talk about that every chance that you get, though. Like, who gives a they fuck? They made it their entire personality. Yeah, it's like nobody even cares about that. Anymore. You know what I find that happens a lot to me when I go on dates? I don't really, politics don't come up, but say there's this off chance that they do. And more, more often than not, well, not, more often than not, but some of the women that I've gone on dates with, their dads are very Trump. Mm-hmm. Right wing is a gas project. And I feel like they go out of their way to let me know how against that they are by like showing how left they are. Mm. And that always annoys me. It's like, don't, you don't need to do that. Right. You don't need to tell me you fucking took a knee in your sorority house and put your fist up. Like, I don't fucking care. Tell me about you putting your fist up your ass. That part. There you go. Yeah. I'm with you. That's way more interesting. Has, has Absolutely. politics ever came up on first dates with y'all? Seldom. But when they nah, do, not I try really. to avoid them. I never mentioned my brother. I try to stick clear of all that shit. A girl was trying to hook me up with a, uh, what do you want? Call them like those old, what do they call them? Like whores? Freedom fighters? No. I was going to go with what he said. Not yeah. whores, no. <laughs> like the- uh, The freedom the, whore? The freedom fighters. I love freedom whores. Like, she, the, like, was that what we call them now? You know, the girls that are heavy into like protesting and things like that. Like yeah, social activists. Activists. Social activists. She tried to hook me up with like one of the social activists. Oh, I would have loved to just no, sit fu- at the other table to eavesdrop. Not a chance. No, I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't, it? not at all. I was like, she does what? She came in your house with like a, a cardboard sign and like a Sharpie. It never got that far, bro. Oh. My friend. Well, why, why would you be against something like that? The real ones. They're, Cause there are, they're not just, there are activists who like actually go out and do real work. Not just. No, she was a real one. She's like really like doing her thing. But I just, I just know me, my personality. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't match. I mean, was this a, was 45 in office at the time or? No, okay. this was this was like Obama last year. Was, yeah. Oh, Biden was oh, okay. Yikes! Who was she? A Biden social activist. Pro? What was the? What was she? Bro, I have. Behind? I have no. No, she's just like social, like not so much like presidential shit. Just like social, just shit. like equal she, rights. And yeah, shit. she like gives a fuck yeah. about the world. Just like, like shit that, she, just she, like you no, know, like shit that equality. goes on, like you know, shit that goes on, like in the communities and things like that, like that type of shit. Yeah, and I was just like, nah, I'm cool. Um, why, but why though? I just know I just know me like and I know my personality and I just know like from what I see it just wouldn't we better off just like nah just cool like do your thing but we, it, it couldn't be nothing romantic though. When I was in college I had a girl that was way ahead of her time with social activists of this era. She asked me to explain racism to her and then asked me if black people could be racist and wanted to know my answer. Which I respect, it's just a, like a lot of pressure for an eighteen-year-old on a date. 
You was 18 when somebody asked you that? Freshman in college. I don't feel like that's a tough... Do you, do you think that was a tough question? I didn't have the definition of race. Like, I didn't read Webster that morning. I was just like, yeah, like when they hate other races. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic. That's like, on that's the spot, the, like, the on the spot, the I didn't... Are still today. <laughs> yeah. Today. Yeah. 18 years later. Yeah. She weeded your ass. <laughs> I never followed up. <laughs> She weeded your ass. That's fucking sick. I can't. And then asked me if black people could be racist. And guys, at this time, like, we didn't get all our information right in our face from like Twitter and Facebook. And if you're just like a young, naive kid, yeah. you don't have the right answers that you could have just, you know, regurgitated mm -hmm. from D Ray on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I, I, maybe. <laughs> Can they be? <laughs> Jesus, I, I don't. What type of girl? I don't know. Rory Saying black people was she a black girl? Yeah, they can't be. <laughs> Do you think a yes, white girl asked me that? No, oh, racism yeah. is a systematic thing. It has. They can be bigot. Yeah, they, they can, can be, be bigots, prejudice for sure. They can be prejudiced, but they can't. Racism, be racist. Is, a racism is systematic. Thing. Oh, okay. They don't well, have the, the power bigotry, to be. The same. They, no, it's not because right. racism in institute it, at least it in America power in different systems. Well, there's we don't have the black people in America. All the migrants. Who are also black? No, the fucking the, yeah. But do do black people set the system for migrants? Not set the system. I think you <laughs> you jump up a, a peg in the system when you shit on the people that are lower than you. I mean, that's all the Irish and Italians. That's where we. Yeah. You know what they're trying today. to give the migrants? Everything. Yeah, exactly. You know what they're trying to give the black people? Everything they're not giving the migrants. <laughs> you know why I can't respect Eric Adams? <laughs> It's not because of the mind. How did you get? How did, you, how did your mind go there? French Montana just dropped an album. Wait, wait, seen, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I've seen Eric Adams with French Montana for two years straight at every single party. The moment his album drops, I don't see Eric Adams anywhere near French Montana. Well, maybe the music wasn't hitting for him. That's, that's why, what I like. That's, that's disrespectful to me. That's why you don't fuck with Eric Adams. Yeah, I mean, aside from not all the shit that he, he got the city going through right now. He that's cleaned the city up. Oh, okay. Okay. Mall, he showed us where about, kids hide guns. I don't know if you want to have this conversation on air. We were talking about the uh, the credit cards and everything that the migrants are getting. Mm -hmm. um, what about it? I don't know. You were, we were talking about it off air. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to continue that conversation on the pod. I don't mind. I think it's fucking crazy. You are gonna give migrants that come here that are fucking running rampant through the city, committing crimes, and then okay, not only that, and then this part, none of them there are. Is. Remember the whole vaccinated thing. Oh. None of them are vaccinated. So, it. so you let in what? 30, 40,000 unvaxxed people? They didn't even want like Kyrie dribble a ball and he wasn't vaccinated. Well, he didn't do his homework. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're going to let in 30, 40,000 unvaxxed people just let them run around the city. And then Eric Adams had the, the idea, the bright idea of, hey, you should let some of these migrants live with you. We'll pay you. I'm not against what? that because right. it's low key. There, it's like, it's slavery. It's slavery. And it's, and you're, so you're not against slavery. Tax, it's a tax write off. So, so you're it's not against slave. slavery. Well, it's like, to me, it's like... Why does that not surprise me? To me, it's like a, if it's like TaskRabbit. So, except you own them. So, it's like instead of having someone... Yeah, own it, anybody is called slavery. Huh? You're not supposed to own anybody. But they make money. Yeah, but you're still... And their house. It's like uh, sharecropping. Yeah. But you own the, the cropper. But they just do your laundry No, you don't own, shit. like... Here's the thing. I know you guys are awesome, but, like, it didn't cross anyone's mind when you saw that the news, like, not a bad deal. Nah. Roy's got a guest room. Get shower. Yeah, it, see, it sounds good until you come home and now and then they they're still, holding your child. Having, having an MS-13 meeting in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you More protection to, for me. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm down. Then now you now you panicking. And it's talking about <laughs> Yeah, like this is the shit that happens. You don't know who you let me yeah, doing a good job of just keeping them in Long Island. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's what you that's what you think. Uh what was even crazier about that credit card thing was that all of us as New Yorkers were like, yo, Eric Adams, can you explain this whole credit card thing? Not a peep. And then 50 Cent posted on Instagram, yo, what the fuck is this? And Eric Adams did a press conference and said, can someone tell 50 Cent that this is going to save the taxpayers money? We needed Fucking 50 crazy. to put an IG post up to get an answer. Yeah. I, I just can't wait to move out of New York. I'm, I'm, I'm done with New York City. Just had, me personally. Had that combo with my therapist uh, yeah, I'm, on Wednesday. I'm, I'm done. And you came up and I was like, I'll be with it. Absolutely. I'm done. Where, your but, yeah. Why are your therapist sticking up for Maul? Like, no, you're like, yo, I want to She asked move. me, like, That's, yo, would that be something Maul would, because we work together. Yeah, but why is she asking about Maul, what Maul wants? Is she a therapist? Who cares what Maul wants? It's weird. My therapist, like, knows about what's going on in my life and is aware <laughs> that Maul's my business partner. So when I was bringing this up outside of Kia and Amara, she was like, well, what about Maul as your business partner? That, that would be a thing if you wanted to move. Mm -hmm. Why is that, like, why is that weird? I didn't say it was weird. 
It was a joke. I didn't oh. say it was weird. You just said it was weird. Mad time. Rewind it 15 seconds. I was making, I was <laughs> you know, making you hit fun. it right now. I was the making fun of the therapist. Rewind it too, bro. Not this rail, the other rail. <laughs> yeah, now, the, the now, now, rail. now you think it's going to have a sense of humor. Y'all laughing everything. Oh, man. We got any more voicemails, Julian? That was uh, it. Ooh, this should be another fun one for Maul. I'm just going to test you today, Maul. All right. Pause. Yo, what's up, guys? This is Lorenzo from Chicago. Uh, shout out all of you. I've uh, been watching the show for a while. But let me just get straight into it. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys about what you feel about uh, trans, uh, just like the topic of trans people and just like uh, transgenderism, if that's even a word, uh, being taught in schools, uh, especially like uh, in, in mostly mostly in high school, maybe a little bit in like grade school and stuff like that. Because if, I feel like if health class can be taught uh, in front of students and stuff like that, I feel like... It should be taught like <laughs> that also should be taught just the way just in the same way that CRT is taught is like people want that to be taught in schools. I feel the same way about like trans people because I feel like a lot of people don't really understand the topic of being trans and just having that information available uh, for students to have. It's like even as a elective class, not even a core class. Uh, it would be good, and it would make them feel a lot more comfortable around trans people. But uh, you guys just let me know what you think, and I'll, I'll be listening. Hope you guys have a good day, man. So his question was what exactly? Should trans health be taught in schools? He said he compared it to CRT, which is critical race theory, mm-hmm. which has been obviously a, a, a touchy point, a touch so and go point. So should trans health... Yeah. Be taught in school. So just like you're in your in your health class, you said it could even be in an elective, so it's not mandatory. But if you opt in, you can do a class on it, but just to be as an option. What would be the difference in trans health as opposed to male and female anat- anatomy? Well, I think the, the operationally there's a big difference, and I'm sure there's in the, hormones. Yep, mental health yeah. things that come through with the hormones as well. I mean, I think if that asking that is actually. I think that if you're trans, you should yeah, have the to option <laughs> to take that class, but I don't think I should have to take that class. But they're well, kids, so like they're not. I mean, they may not be actually trans yet. Well, like we took. Home yeah, but back. see, the thing is, when I was in high school, I knew that I didn't want to be trans. Like, yeah. So I, I, cool. sh- I shouldn't have to sit in the trans health class. But it's an elective. It wouldn't be if you if you were curious. Just because you're. Just because you're not something doesn't mean you're not curious into learning about it. Yeah, and I'm sure you took plenty of classes that have nothing to do with what you grew up or thought you was going to grow up to be anyway. Yeah, you yeah but not about have. yeah, but not about like an anatomy or health or like changing my gender. I took geology. You think I give a fuck about rocks? And I'm trying to think in, in health <laughs> class like, in high school they didn't like split rocks. us up. Like I feel like they taught yeah women shit taught you and women's shit. health high school, too yeah. in health class. Well, I learned about titties in high school. Not well, I like titties, so I figure I should um, know about them. So if you don't like it, then and if you all right, so if you eventually to want it. titties, you should probably learn about that. Yeah, but I shouldn't have to sit through that. I don't want titties. Well, I should have to sit in that. Okay, class. but like the taking care of titties, even if you like them, the class is about like you know lumps on breasts and like that type of shit. Yeah, you're learning about it. It's not because you like titties. I just don't see where that would benefit me. There's, but that's what I'm saying. There's mad shit you took in high school that didn't benefit you. So what's, what would be the difference? I don't know about mad shit. I mean, some of that math shit I definitely didn't need. Yeah, you just needed. I just needed to know. You just needed scales. An eighth. Yeah. That's it. Kilo, I didn't need, and kilos. Yeah, I don't need yeah. all that other shit. I'm not a. I'm not an architect. If mall bags. I don't need to know kilos. angles. Like, mm. the fuck do I need to know an angle for? Mm. Oh, I just, I feel like what the purpose of school outside of preparing you for the outside world is supposed to be knowledge. Some knowledge you're going to use, some knowledge you aren't going to use. I feel like if it's an elective class, there should be nothing wrong with people learning about it if they choose to. Yes. As much as it pisses me off, they don't teach us about taxes and instead how to solve for X. I see the value in learning how to problem solve. Even if I'm never going to have to figure out how to solve for X in my life, it teaches me how to problem solve. All right. What would trans, what would a trans health class do for me? It would just make you more informed. It's not a matter of, okay, here's what we taught you. Make a decision if you want to make this change in your life or I not. I get that. But it's just like, to better understand what that what comes with that process. Yeah. Because admittedly, I think all of us are pro- grossly misinformed because we didn't grow really grow up. It's becoming popular now, more so, at least publicly. So there's a lot of shit that none of us are well-versed on. Yeah. Big TikTok number. Yeah. It's because our water is making the kids gay. 
Mm. I think well, it's the soy. It was but the and the yes, yeah, soy. The first. first, you drink soy and then you chop your dick off. It's just common knowledge. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ate a bunch of edamames one night and I did feel kind of gay after that. <laughs> what what was what was the first feeling where you were like, hmm, I may be going to the other side? I don't know. Was like, it like sucking started, out? You the, started sucking on it. Yeah, yeah. like my nipples. Like got, you finished the job. Like my nipples got really sensitive. It was just like a weird time. Like Spe <laughs> speaking of, uh, you ate one with no salt. Soy. Soy doesn't make you gay. <laughs> Sucking dick makes you gay. People are saying <laughs> so much Chinese food I've ate in my life. <laughs> well, people are saying that the soy fucks with hormones. What's I mean, salt, right? Salt fucks with your no. hormones. No. What are well, you I'm saying? About? Soy is mostly salt. Well, they said uh, so. Here it is. There it's was a study. Salt. There was a study with children, Fact. and they were given a surplus of soy, and they looked at their sexual orientation, gen uh, genitalia, genital uh, malformation, and fertility. Um, oh wow, the study was inconclusive, at least in this one. But there were all these like weird right wing theories that soy makes you gay. I, Yo, it's some sick shit. Bro, my, my favorite right wing theory now is that AI is trying to get rid of white people. Well, Who they said are. That? Well, anytime you like type in a historical event in America, AI comes back with like, say I wanted to type in George Washington. Mm -hmm. It'll give me a black George Washington, which proves that AI is here to get rid of the white race, which it proves like that's a fact. Now. Okay. It's a fact. You People are going crazy. It. I got it. Got so, it. Yeah. You know, I saw walking around. So the other day, speaking of uh, transgender people, the uh, girl from Euphoria, Hunter Schaefer. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we were walking in the same direction, uh, paced together for like a few blocks and every single person recognized her and was like doing like the next snap thing. I would not know who you was talking you, about. You've seen Euphoria, this one. It's the girl that uh, hooks up with Rue. Jules. A bunch. Jules. Okay, yes. But Wait, if I saw her in Manhattan, she looks like a bunch of other girls. Every Manhattan, other girl yeah. walking. So, <laughs> pardon my ignorance. She plays a trans woman in the show. She's not trans. Right? No, she's actually trans. She's oh, trans. So okay, thought she just played one. Oh, she's trans in real life. Yeah, I did yeah. not know. She's she's passing. Still, she still has her piece too. Nice. Which you can see in the show. Which but. yeah, which yeah, they. Oh yeah, that's to. right. I thought that was maybe like a stand-in. You know, in this no. day and age, swap, you can't have a it. non a non transgender person playing a transgender person. They'll like the community would you mean like acting friends. no you can't <laughs> act anymore you can't act yeah you can't act like you a transgender if they made a force you, have to, you either have to be trans or not acting without acting yeah the, the next fan. force comes gonna be a woman and she's gonna be oh so that's so so never mind <laughs> that should be pretty easy cast and call Wait, right there. I, well I brought up Hunter Schaefer because <laughs> I saw her but she also just got arrested because she uh, did a protest uh, uh, against Biden in his on his fuck shit about Israel and Palestine, and she she got arrested in the protest. When you passed her, like downtown. Well, I saw her right oh. after. I must have seen her right after she got released. Out on bail. Yeah, <laughs> saw fresh her. out. First day out. First, <laughs> first day out. So she had. This was her. Uh, this was a couple of days ago. Did they put her in the men's uh, jail or the women's jail? Well, isn't there just like a tank that they hold yeah, people in? Yeah, just a holding tank. I doubt. If you think that children. there Wait. are women in a holding tank with niggas, you, also, you think the tombs realized, is just men and women chilling together? <laughs> yeah, I think realized, that, yeah, they're not putting all of us in the same fucking tank. Uh, I don't know. I've never been to jail. Uh, well, let me tell you. No, it ain't no women in there. I feel like once they realized who she was, she probably didn't spend a, a second in there. But yeah, she was arrested. I heard she PC'd up. Can't respect it. She ain't stand all 10. Standing on t um, again, not to be ignorant. What do they do in that situation? She would be in the women's. She'd uh, be in the women's one yes. with a piece. She would have to. She would have. She would definitely be in the women's with her piece. With a piece, though. But she's a woman. I need y'all. I, I agree. Referring to that woman's genitals as a piece. Okay, with with her. With she her, got the steel on. With her, her penis still like, on. Like shit, she got it on her. Like <laughs> yeah, like she got That's not crazy to be housed with the women, and then you got to use the bathroom, and you back the ham out and take <laughs> the leak. I'm really not even trying to make trans jokes. I'm really asking. Like, if you have the piece, wouldn't you have to still... No, because she identifies as a woman. And I believe she's a woman. I'm just saying, like, in jail. But see, that's corny, though, because if I identify as a woman, they're not going to put me in a woman's yeah, jail. No, she don't she, look like Hunter Schaefer. Yeah. That's all right, though. I identify as a woman. She don't tell me what I look it. like. Yeah. Some malls, I want to go, go over there with the, with, with the women. I identify as a woman, Yana. Put me over there. I really Throwing don't know a woman what they with, do in that situation. Piece in the women jail. Is that's not crazy. Like if she still has a penis, that's not wild for her to be housed with the women. As a woman, Damaris, that's I not. I believe that's, she's a woman. Listen, I'm asking you if you in jail. If you're in jail, I can listen. I can look at it from both perspectives, right? Because all I care about in jail is safety. I can see how it can be unsafe for the women, but I can also see how it could be unsafe for her. It would be more unsafe so, for her to go with the men. It would. So without I, a doubt. 
Fair. But also, all right, so let's reverse it. What if a guy that still has the JJ, like, do, do we put him in general pop at Rikers? That pussy's going to get torn up. <laughs> but it's not pussy. It is pussy. No, it's no, pussy. About a I agree that that man. is a man. Oh, sorry. But I they have a vagina. Man. And I'm saying, unfortunately, the way like jail works, if you put in the same scenario, like they tear up men's ass. Imagine if like a, a real vagina walked into... <laughs> There's a there's a common theme Walked in the this. Rikers. There's a common theme in this, but it's y'all aren't really the audience for it. But yeah, what's the common theme? The that? common theme is either way, it's safer for them to be with women than men. That seems to be the common theme. Well, men are dangerous. I, I'm with so you there. it's just we're not like, safe. We're not a safe gender. Yeah, yeah, but either, I'm just saying, or. like if I if I identify as a woman, right? Why you can't? It's different. Why is it different? Cause it's not that's not how it works you can't just be like i'm a woman today like there's they're cycling hormones she's like got she looks like a woman she lives her life as a woman you can't like the minute you get cuff slammed on your wrist being black tims in a fit and be like nah, i'm a woman now like that's not how it according works. to fox news that's what's happening the <laughs> yes. no that's, that's what's happening in this, they don't lie to that's me. what's happening <laughs> in the <laughs> steam and you, way to the pen like, that's what's happening in the that. esteem sessions that's why they're closing down all your steam rooms <laughs> <laughs> That's how does that even make sense? <laughs> That's what's happening. Like I'm a woman now. Okay, well come on in. But like, I mean, we know they don't follow, but sexual acts are not allowed in prison. I just what? They're not. Of course, they happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Contraband's not allowed, but it happens. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? But like, just again, throwing a piece just around. I just I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm ignorant, and I'm. I just think how somebody that has a penis is. with women is just absolutely insane. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the right. That's what I'm saying. I don't. Well, I, I really don't know what the right thing would be, but I'm pretty sure. Like if I go in the bathroom, like if I if I take my daughter to use the bathroom. There we go. Oh god. And it's a, go. it's a oh, trans. We're having fun. Yeah. I'm just, fun's, o- fun's over. Here we go. I'm just saying, and, and a trans woman backs out her piece. Yeah, you're slamming her head on the porcelain. Yeah, oh gotcha. baby. Yeah, we breaking so why, that whole bathroom. You wouldn't. You wouldn't be in the women's bathroom <laughs> taking your daughter to go to the bathroom. You nah. wouldn't be in the women's bathroom. What bathroom would I be in? They have family bathrooms for that. You I have you can't. I have one hundred percent at the airport taking Amara into the men's room to change her diaper. Yeah, yeah, not the women's room. He's talking no. about the women's room. He's saying he would go into the women's room. Yeah, you can't do that with your daughter. No, you would bring her into the men's room around all the. I pieces. mean, you could do it and like cry like. Yeah, I'm not taking my daughter in the men's room. You would have to because you're the authoritative figure and you're a man. So your daughter, who is not even aware of gender or sex, would just follow you. Yeah, and then you, you know. Go into the stall. Obviously. How old is my daughter? Uh, is it three? She's old enough where you have to go into the bathroom. Three, four. Yeah, nah. I'm not taking it in the you're not, There's well, no you way your black you ass is going into a woman's restroom. Why not? All right. I have my daughter. But you're worried, but, but no, but you're worried about Hunter Schaefer in the women's bathroom backing out a piece, but not your big grown ass, grown real I have, ass. I have my daughter. Which we learned in the, in the last in the episode. So that's that's your daughter. I'm not your daughter. I'm in here using the bathroom. I don't know who the fuck you are or whether you're a predator or not. Or whether you're yeah, using my, your daughter I as brought my daughter here to use the okay, bathroom. Okay, I don't know if you're a predator or not. I don't yeah, know. I'm not with my daughter around a bunch of niggas pulling a piece out, pissing in the urinal. But that's how it works. Yeah, it does, like you can't just huh? come in the women's bathroom just be all oh, the family. But what if it's not a family bathroom? It's not a family bathroom everywhere you go. But also, like I'm not talking about uh, at a Jets game where it's fucking degenerates in a bathroom. Like at JFK Airport, I've taken Amara into. But there's family the bathrooms at the airport, though. Not on every single one. Not on every single one. Yeah, some some of them don't have. Yeah, Ma, when you have kids, you can't just like. That doesn't because what if your daughter's ten and she's in the bathroom and then a grown ass man walks in like oh no nah, my daughter's ten I don't have to go to the bathroom with her you're mi- no yes to, you do no you don't listen, sometimes no, ten years listen, old no you at don't. ten I was taking listen a fucking to flight I'm, to another city you by missed myself what, what, I, what, what I'm saying what if you sent your ten year old in there and there's a grown man with a two year old and they're like oh nah shorty we chilling I'm just changing my daughter diaper it don't how would you would you feel comfortable about that if a man was changing his daughter's diaper and my daughter and my ten year old daughter went to use the bathroom. Yes. So a grown ass man is in the bathroom with your 10 year old daughter. But he's changing his daughter's diaper. It do- okay. Like, what the fuck? I wouldn't be mad at that. All right, I'll, All right. I'll even. It's I, not like he's in there using the bathroom. He's I'm, changing a, 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 his daughter's to, diaper. To defend the marriage side, I saw a video, and I'm not going to bother looking for it on Twitter, but I saw a video of a guy with two daughters. They were both probably eight to 10, and, and they were, had to go to the bathroom. It was at a public park. He, before the, his daughters went into the bathroom, Opened the door in the bathroom. And there was like a 45 year old man waiting in there for girls to come in so he could scoop them and like dip. He got the guy, filmed him, put him on blast, got him the fuck out of there because he was waiting behind the stall for women to come in. 
got him out of there, and then his daughters went to the bathroom, and he stood in front of the door. That shit happens a lot. That's what I'm saying. Like that's you, what, that's you what say, she's oh, saying. if it's a guy, you don't know. Like that's the thing. Like you don't know. I don't know if you're in there with your daughter. I don't know if that's a little girl that you, a little cousin you just happen to have, and you took her to the bathroom so you can have an excuse to be in the women's bathroom. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Not everybody has good intentions. Yeah, but see, but but you kind of making my point with this whole trans thing, because if you if that's the case, then what's the what's the difference if a man is taking his daughter to use the bathroom, right, in a woman's bathroom? And then a man, a trans that still has a penis is going into the women's bathroom. What's the difference? Because the trans actually has a reason to be there. You can take your daughter into the other bathroom. We all have a reason to be there. We're trying to use the fucking bathroom. I get what you're saying. It sounds like you're saying you just don't want a penis inside of the woman's bathroom. No, is, what what is what it sounds like you're saying. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, what I, my Hunter only, uses the I'm not even talking bathroom. about the trans thing. My only thing to you was you like, I would take my daughter into the woman's bathroom and I'm like, that's not what you Yeah, if I have a little, if is, my daughter's like three, four years old, But yeah. this is the reason why you don't do that. I'm, I'm explaining to you that you don't. Because do I have a penis. No, not because you have a penis. It has nothing to do with the penis. So what does that have to do because with? Because you're, um, you're, you're a man, you don't belong in the women's bathroom. Just period. Just period. Not because you have a penis. So if somebody has a penis, they're not a, <laughs> they're, not, they're not a man. I I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm, just, I'm, I'm asking you. Just Let's, everyone direct if, me. If and somebody tell me has what a penis, do, if somebody I'll, has a penis, they're not a man. What if Hunter gets to that jail, and you know women are mean, and she gets to the showers, and all the girls are like, "Damn, her shit mad little." I don't think that's. I don't think that's how that works. What. I'm just trying to get y'all to answer the question. If I have a penis, am I a man? Yes or no? Uh, it depends how you identify. Genetically, yes. That's all I'm saying. So if a trans woman that still has a penis catch me. can walk into a woman's bathroom, <laughs> why can't I escort my daughter into that same bathroom? Oh, we're still on that, Jesus. I'm just asking. <laughs> I tried to switch the topic about all the- Nah, everybody want to everybody wanna tuck their tail and not talk. We have a fucking podcast. Talk. I'm if I if somebody if a if a trans still has a penis and she can walk into a woman's bathroom, she still has her penis. Okay, but there's like stalls. There's not urine. Cool. There. Whatever's there. That's true. Why can't I escort my three, four, five year old daughter into the same woman's bathroom and just let her use the restroom, walking her into the stall, hold her while she you know doesn't don't want her to sit actually on the toilet, hold her, let her use the bathroom. Obviously, I'm not on a weird time. It's my daughter. I'm here with my daughter. How do you, like, I'll obviously, here. you're not on a weird time. Why do you just assume that nobody's ever on weird time? I'm not assuming that. I'm saying me. I'm in here with. I'm yeah, taking my you, daughter to the bathroom. But the people in the bathroom yeah. don't know you. And okay, but so, but if if a fucking trans woman walks in and she has a, a still has her dick, what the fuck is the difference with her walking in there and me walking in there because with my daughter to the bathroom? We even know that she still has her dick, Ma. There's stalls yeah. in women's bathroom. We don't just piss. Cool. I'm taking like, my daughter into the stall. Exactly. No, you that's change, it's not the you same. You don't change a diaper in the at all. Also, no, I'm all your approach to this is just. If my daughter's three or four years old, she's not wearing a fucking diaper. Your approach to this is just a counterculture answer anyway. We all said in this room, like, if you have a daughter, you would still bring her into the men's room because you're the man and you would bring her in that room. You should have no business going into the women's room at all. The same thing is if I have a son, if I have a son, my son is coming with me into the women's bathroom. That's what my they yeah. go into the bathroom with me. Yes. My mom would bring my brother and I into the women's room and she would put us in the stall, stand in front of the door. We'd pee and then we'd go wash our hands and leave. I wouldn't wash my hands. My brother would wash his hands and we'd leave. I don't remember. I blacked out a lot of my childhood. But it's the adult that I whatever the adult identifies as you bring right. them into your bathroom. You don't put the kid. You're not. Oh, I just daughter. think it, I just think it's different when you have a daughter. Why? What are you trying to protect her from in the men's bathroom? The men's mean? bathroom has stalls too. No, absolutely. But I'm just saying. I think I just I just think it, you should be taking your daughter into the woman's bathroom. But why? And if my daughter's with me, I would probably. If not, they don't have a family room, or she can go in the woman's bathroom. Sometimes you could just stand right outside if she's four or five years old. She knows how to use use the toilet. And let her use the bathroom. Luckily, I've had nothing but trusting experiences in bathrooms. I've never thought, like, I need to hide my daughter from the men's room. Well, I mean, it's I'm not saying crazy. it doesn't happen, but like, I just, oh, no, it, uh, it definitely happens. We know that. I'm just trying to figure out what would be the difference if a trans woman that identifies as a woman now but still has a penis walks into the woman's bathroom. The Rikers. And pulls a penis out and starts peeing. You know, it could probably help us out if we in took, a stall. took a health class and learned about. All these things. Yeah. 
Learn Here about how a penis works. I know how a penis works. When um when did I have one? I've had one splitting every day of my life on the planet. Gender bathrooms happen. I was about to say this doesn't happen in New York because we all use the same bathroom around here. Yeah, but like when did that start? What do you mean? Men's and women's bathrooms. Like what year did that happen? I'm sh- probably sure. And I highly doubt it was for some reason of safety. I just feel like men probably didn't want to hear women take shits. No, they were just designing bathrooms differently. Urinals for men. Yeah, but if you got, you know, put the urinals over there and a bunch of stalls. Well, they were even more conservative than we are back in the day. So I'm sure that's probably since the inception of public bathrooms, they've probably had several ones. Let's let's look up the year. I saw uh, something like the 1870s is when gendered bathrooms started becoming a thing. Here we go. They had that much plumbing? In fact, laws... <laughs> I just feel like it was a hole and like everyone <laughs> used that one hole. Until, yeah, the end of the... So, in fact, laws uh, started to go into place at the end of the 19th century when Massachusetts became the first state to enact uh, such a statute. By 1920... By 1920, more than 40 states had adopted similar legislation requiring that public restrooms are separated by sex. Hmm. So, uh, late 1800s, 1920s, they really went for it. Doesn't really give a reason, though. Well, because... Never mind. Yeah. No, I think that's actually, like... uh, Honoring women that they get their own restroom. I'm shocked they even got a bit. Well, here you go. Uh, these laws were rooted in the so-called separate spheres ideology of the early 19th century. The idea that in order to protect the virtue of women, they White needed women. to stay, the whats, they needed to stay in the home to take care of the child. Oh, that's, that comma really did well, women I mean, dirty. You know. I thought it was a comma saying, yes, let's protect women in the sanctity. Nah, stay home. No, and, no, and, there's, there's a few and topics household from, like, let's chores. make America great again. Damn. <laughs> I really thought this was going to be a really nice thing about women. No, it landed right where I wanted it to. Yeah. This makes sure okay. that they can get into the bathroom and then immediately get home and cook and clean and shit. <laughs> they don't have to wait in line. <laughs> and make my room. shoes. Who's folding the laundry if they're waiting in line? <laughs> Dude, this country is <laughs> fucked, man. And if we're giving them rations of food and water, they shouldn't use the bathroom that much anyway. Yeah. You know what? I, I mean, the inception of so much stuff in this country is obviously rooted in racism and sexism. But, you know what I think um, about a lot? And I, I, I have like a, a running bit in my head about this. Steam uh, sesh? Yes, that too. But uh, how cities in this uh, country were named. Like you think, all right, take a city like Lynchburg, Virginia. Mm. It's where they lynched people. You think? I mean, yeah. You think they named it after the really strong trees? Mm-hmm. I would imagine. Mm-hmm. So I always think about shit like that. I mean, they definitely fucked up on a, a lot of the news. Like, have you been to New London, Connecticut? Looks nothing like London. It's definitely not the New London. <laughs> like New York should have been New London. New London, Connecticut did not deserve that fucking name. <laughs> And like with New Brunswick, is there an old Brunswick? There's an original Brunswick, which yeah. is in England. There's an original Jersey. There's an original none of York. none of the shit named here is original. Mm-mm. What? Yes, yes, it is. We discovered it. It's oh, yeah. not named anything else from any Native American tribe. So there's a York City. Yeah, there's a, yeah. a Yorkville, Yorkshire. Like that's most York, of New York stuff is like the Dutch, and it was called something else before that. Then the Dutch like made a. They had a good parlay and purchased most of it. <laughs> they had a good I'm parlay. serious. Look, like, look into history. New York was owned by the British for a while, and then the Dutch came in and just bought what a lot was, of it and renamed it. What, what was the deal? It was like uh, New York, the settlers bought Manhattan for like $17 or something from the uh, from the Native American, the, the indigenous people. They gave them like nothing. $17. You think they gave them $17? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> or, or did they give the soldiers $17 yeah. to give rid of that problem? Yeah, exactly. In 1626, the story goes, indigenous inhabitants sold off the entire island of Manhattan to the Dutch for $24 worth of beads and trinkets. We thought the Jews were smart. And first of all, didn't the... This is bullshit. Didn't the indigenous people have the beads and trinkets? Well, they probably gave them... The, uh, we re-gifted it to them. <laughs> yeah, they stole it. They, they, they took it from so them. So where are the Indian givers? Them. Yeah, exactly. That's how that shit goes. Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah. I mean, it's a sick world. You got to get into like the history of Henry Hudson. If you go up into Canada, like there's still Hudson shit. Mm-hmm. He went crazy. Like we give Christopher Columbus a lot of shit as we should, but everyone is like totally fine with Henry Hudson. <laughs> he was moving. You know how much ground he covered in his lifetime? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was There's a Hudson <laughs> County in Washington st- <laughs> State. <laughs> he went fucking crazy. 
Oh, man. All right. We want to get to Patreon? Yeah, let's oh, get to yes. Patreon. What are we talking about on Patreon? Some crazy shit? We got something crazy to talk about? Probably. Oh, the Spotify released um, the uh, top albums of the uh, streaming era. That'll be fun to talk about. Let's argue music. Spotify? Yeah, so when Spotify, was it 2016? They said there's uh, classics in the Spotify era. So we can argue which albums. They did a list. It was like 15 R&B albums, 15 hip-hop albums. All right. Well, top albums of the streaming era. Let's talk about that then. Uh, enjoy the your rest of your... Uh, what is it? What's today? Yeah, the weekend, right? Friday. The Saturday. weekend's here. Same thing. The weekend's here. Uh, be blessed. Be safe. Yes. We'll be back next week to talk some more shit with y'all. Tickets available now. NewRoryMall.com. March 23rd, Washington, D.C. Howard Theater. We'll see y'all there. Um, I don't know. Maga Mall might be in the building. You're four on five. Yeah. Never mind. We'll work on that one. You're four on five. Peace. No worry, I'm not.